Y'all hear the music? There it is. And of course, mic check, mic check, one, two, one, two. Two legit city on the mic. Yo, what's going on, everybody? Hey, y'all doing today? It's your boy, me, Two Legit City, and we're live. And we are going to be back to the No Starter Geyser Run. Thank you guys for tuning in with us today. I see you guys over there. Queen Calera, Uglarvis, Geek, Timo, Lord of Heaven, Tuxi, Ace Cow, I know you're back there. Timo, Lord of Heaven, Christopher, uh, Danish, D Nice, I see you over there. But thank you guys for tuning in, man. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for playing with us. And of course, happy Sundays, everyone. Oh, I just got the blue screen of death. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, I'm alive. Yeah, I'm alive. Let's go. I just had that pop-up that said oxygen not included has stopped the responding. Oh, no. That is never a good thing. All right, we're adding O2 still. I'll look at that soon. We are allowing this to basically self-vacuum. This is at a point where it's just going to self-vacuum. And there's nothing we really do here. That's fine. Uh, the only other thing is bleach stone. We're going to mine that out so that we can move out the bleach stone. I feel like that's smart. And then we're going to have to seal this up so that we don't have any gases leak out. That's going to be fine. We got our hatch statue. They carried us, boys. The hatches were the food source of choice. The pokey shells, they're hanging out. Making sure all the eggs come out. That means we can make this into a bed finally. Oh, it is a bed. Nice. Let's put the joyous seed here. This guy's going to get a bed. Nice little painting. One, two, three, four, eight, thirteen, and then one, two. So that's what? Thirteen. Plus eight, that's what, 21? Oh, I'm missing a lot of beds. <laughs> we are making our new Somnium area, though. So we're having them uh, work this out. Oh, Polani, I see you over there. Hello, hello. So there's going to be some things we're going to deal with at the bottom. I accidentally made sour gas. So we're going to have to delete that. And then we're going to have to make sure to put a door crusher down here, probably, so that we could set it up. Making our statues, though. Can't be mad. And then this is going to be the Somnium area. The thing with this is that we're going to have to cool it down. We are running this setup right there. Oh, this is jammed. All right, so this is the meme strat. We just literally move one bubble. There we go. So that bubble is jamming us right here. <laughs> so this is just going to run like that so we can cool down the area. This is still trying to be cooled. This is insane, how much energy that's actually there, man. And we have no more ice. Okay. Oh, and we're dumping water right here. Always fun. Uh, how much water is there? It's not a lot. All right, we're going to move the frozen water here. 1,200. We're going to move that there so we could unleash the cold water back there again. I am likely going to need... Ah, uh, this is a problem still. Okay. We have a lot of water up top, so we're going to bop the line. I can imagine having some father or mother being mad at their brother and sister. And so, Denise is the child. Hey, man. Hey, hey. I'm bad at the English, man. I see you over there. <laughs> Come on, man. I know I'm bad at the English, man. Why well, gotta say it like that, though? All right, so this is fine. I wouldn't mind adding more steam to this. And then we want this. So everything here should work. No damage, right? And it's 160 degrees. We do a temp check. And then we get water coming out, water coming in. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then all the water is going to be pumping from here soon. That's going to be what we're going to want to do. I'm imagining it's a legit situation. Come on, man. Just because it's part of my name, I see you over there. <laughs> Just because because it's part of my name, I see you. I see you. All right, so we have storage here. So we will actually want to turn this on. Because we need to pump into the line. 
All right. Temperature is going to be okay. Let's slow this down. So where do we need to go? We know where the terrace. Uh, we scouted out pretty much everything. So we need to decide what we need to be doing right now. Oh, the chlorine broke out. Oh, nice. Oh, it's from the bleach don't off gassing. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the only reason why it's this high. Yeah, that'll be fine. Let's mine this out. Let's mine that out. All right, we're going to be cooling down the base. Some of this is hot, but I don't really mind it. Pumping up the waters. Steam values going up. Temperatures going down. All right, I don't think it's going to get too hot. So we're going to cut the line. That's a good amount of steam. So we wanted to go here today. And we were going to tame the geyser right here. Uh, I need to move out as much of the metal as I can, I think. It's going to be the thing we're going to want to do. So we're just going to want to keep sweeping out all the metal. That way we could actually uh, have everything done here. So we know that we're going to be sending back the rocket. And I believe we wanted to do a double rocket setup. We have the materials here. This is looking good. And then it's going to be the middle two, which is why we're adding oxygen here. This has a little bit of steam, oxygen at a thousand. This is oxygen at a thousand. Okay, so we're actually fine here. Let's cut the line. Let that kind of just do its thing. And then 150, 150. Oh, we're ready. We are very much ready. So do we actually have the crew set up? One, two, three. One, two, and three. They really need to put the people that are listed for the rocket at the very top. That's what they need to do, man. Like, that's something that shouldn't be something you have to scroll down on. It, 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 that doesn't make sense. All right, so this is ready. Uh, oh, we got to get suits here. That's what we needed to do. Ah, uh, we were filling the suits still. I see. One, two, three, four, five. No, we're, we're fine, though. It shouldn't be that bad. And then this has a water. Okay. So I want to say we're good. Uh, we're going to be launching these guys then. So it's crew launch change. Crew launch change. How much food was in here? 25. And 50. Yeah, we should have enough food. Launch, launch, interior, no ground. Interior, no ground. All right, let's go. We're going to go over, do the things. We're moving water right there, which is fine. Still pumping up from the side, which is okay. And then the steam temperature is going up. So I want to cool down as much of the water as we can so that we could do this. We want to pull the water and just empty it. This is not going to be on. Because we don't want the water leaving yet. We could also pump the water from here to pump it out. But yeah, all this right here, man. We're trying to cool down. And I think cold water is going to be the way to do it. Looks like it's going to take some time, though. Alright, let's mop up the water as well. Not going to be doing that. Yeah, we need cooling here. It still seems like. Oh, this is not powered right now. Wow. That's why we're not getting any cooling right there. Why was that not powered? Yeah, my my meal what's not growing anymore. It feels bad. <laughs> I needed to cool all that. Yeah, that's why it's getting warm. They've been moving the heat. All right, now that the AQ is on, it should be helping out. And then this is oil storage, which I think I'm fine with. We're probably going to move all that as well. The kiln right there, because of the radiant piping setup. Works pretty well, can't complain. Holding some energy right here so that we could buffer the rest. And then hopefully this is going to go away. I probably should try to do a tile here. 
realistically. Because that would allow heat transfer between this and that. And then we have the radiant pipe inside. Right here. That probably helps out. Alright, alright. So we're working on this to go inside. We do know that we're going to have the wire here. Right? That just makes sense. Oh, wait, we don't have a place to pick up journals from these guys. Oh. I see how that's a problem. Uh, I did have a couple of issues with this. Maybe we move the barracks down. Yeah. So we make them go down to here. So this becomes a room. And then we make these guys in the suits come from the bottom. I guess that's fair. All right, we'll set this up. So this is gone. This is gone. Uh, this is here. And then we should have this go all the way to the side. And then we'll probably want to ladder through this to the bottom. So effectively, they can go into this, but we'll probably want to lock them out. That does change up how this works. Not, not that bad, though. Alright, and then we're going to start setting up the pattern for this. There we go. We'll do that. This is working now. Nice cold energy. This has already absorbed a lot of heat already. And we're still chilling out the water. Alright, so... How come this one is not... How come this one is not... Who's the, who's the driver here? How come you guys didn't launch? D. Mayor, are you not allowed to drive? Aw, oh, D. Mayor. You're not allowed to drive. That's why. There we go. Aw, oh, man. So he was just not even launched. That's fine. Back to this planet. The doors are open. We should be okay. And then we have some damage stuff here. Okay. So we'll decon both of these. That's very likely what we'll do. This is still usable, so we'll just keep that there. Um, yeah. We got a path. We'll probably have to re remove a lot of those ladders later. Uh, so we're moving out all the items on the side right now. So that's iron. This is cobalt. Um, uh, I should put cobalt with the copper realistically but i might have to wait because there's still iron here and it's not moving out the cooling rooms are cool though and it looks like it's handling it all right so we're going to be sending those guys over they'll have that taken care of that's six people we have 10 suits there is one guy outside one suits does that mean 10 well, am, I, am i missing two suits Am I missing two suits? Six, seven, eight. I'm missing two suits. How? All right, let's dock those. This is starting to cool, which is good. And we should be chilling. Yeah, this is generating heat. That's not bad. 177. This will eventually cool down. Yeah, we need that AQ to keep running for a while. Uh, we're getting this now. Yeah, we're going to have to bop this. This didn't really make sense. I really wanted that to work, though. We're going to move the doors there. And then we're going to have to cool down this area before we can move people in. I don't want them to move in in a hot zone. Oh, and it's going through. Nice. So let's go with this one. Five tons of 10 degree water. That's going to be great. We're going to be using that so that we could actually have uh, cold energy. 
And then we're going to pump up the water after it's warmed up back into the loop. So it's a win-win. Can't even be mad. Auto save lag. This is only possible too because of the move to tool. Let's try to move all five tons, boys. Let's go. Okay, so another thing we needed to do was... I don't have enough bedrooms, everyone. So we know we needed another bathroom. We were going to bop one of these floors for a bedroom. We're going to bop one of these floors for a bathroom. I might as well put the bathroom here, though. This makes more sense. Just because uh, I think it fits a little bit better. And then 4, 8, 12... 16, 20, 4, 29. I think I would get up to... So we're going to do 10 right here. That's 39. Okay, we get four more dupes. That's not bad. And then this is gone. This is a door-door setup. And then that's going to be copper at the bottom. We see the door door locations. That's gonna be like that. We'll remove the airflow there. We'll move the food here soon. And then uh, the oxygen line's gonna be added in. We can actually add that in now. That's not a big deal. This is already jammed. Having that be a split line's okay. I wanna make sure to name one of them. Sleeper agents will soon be deployed. Yep, yep. They're going to be sleeping all day. Will those dreamers get a separate bathroom? Or are they going to be go allowed to go outside? No, we're going to give them their own separate setup. So we're probably going to put the... Um, I guess you call it the amenities on this side. Hmm. We have a lot of coal. I could take a meep. I am going to be taking four more dupes. Dr. Meep. Sounds pretty good. I'm not going to take the flatulent guy, though. If we need water from a cool steam vent, how do you suggest taming it? Uh, depends on which method you want to use to tame. Realistically. It depends on the method that you want to use to tame. So, the different methods are um, using... The Aqua Tuner, that's probably not what you want to use, just because it's the Aqua Tuner. Uh, a lot of people, not a lot of people, you could run a cold water source on top of it, so you warm up your cold water at the same time. Some people, well, some people. I like to run the overflow of the bathroom. So you know how you have your bathroom loop and you have an overflow? I like to take that overflow line, put it into a separate reservoir, and then run that reservoir over the cool steam vent on a temperature check. So the water's going to be at 30 degrees, right, out of the bathroom, and that's all you need to do. Lower this so that it's under 100. So adding a little bit of bathroom water, put a single segment radiant pipe. Right? And then these nine tiles are constantly going to get condensed because it's going to pull energy from the corner. And it's going to be like, uh, right? Run the radiant pipe on that tile only for the radiant pipe. Everything else is insulated. Uh, another one that I would say is probably really effective is using Weezworts and Hydrogen, if you're familiar with that setup. The only thing with that is that you would want a buffer with water in between so that you could actually hold energy and not immediately lose uh, because hydrogen does, doesn't hold enough. I would recommend that if you uh, want to do that. But you would need four to five Weeze words to be able to realistically pull it off. You would need probably four to five Weeze words. That design is actually very nice. I like that design. You would basically do one, two, three, four, five, right, in a room. And then you would have that touch water. And then that touches the side. And then the thing with that is 
realistically, you would probably do this. So that when you temp shift plate and the water drips down, the water doesn't warm up the uh, water that's here. So you effectively have to make sure water always is pumped down. Because you're just trying to cool down the steam. And then once the steam gets cooled down, you'll have 90 degree water here. You don't want to cool down the water. That's where you absorb a lot of heat. So you really just want to have contact with the steam. Nothing else. And then the water falls down and there's no heat transfer. So basically, wheeze wart. You put water in here so that you could cool it down close to zero. If you could freeze it, even better. But that would be the idea. Because in the downtime... Uh, when you're in dormancy for your cool steam vent, your wheeze warts are going to be able to accumulate a lot of cold thermal energy, right? Because it's going to be less than 100 degrees. And that's going to help you condense. And then since it's going to be in water, you could store a lot more energy due to the mass. And the SHC makes it very, very nice. But yeah, there's a lot of different ways to do it. A lot of different ways to do it. Hopefully that helps them with the Ugg Harvest. Take your pick. If you uh, do like some of the ideas, though, and want some uh, pointers for that, for some of the designs, let me know. I got you. Otherwise, man. Go crazy with the designs. I want to see something new. 178. Okay, we're going to stop doing that. Uh, that, so we're not going to pump from here anymore. And then the water has space. We would have to release from here, if anything. Okay. Oh, we got the water. Empty. Empty. Let's go. Give me my cold energy. Oh, splash. Cold water. All right. So all of these items right here are like 40 degrees. And we're trying to make it so that we cool it down. We just have so many hundreds of tons of resources here. That it's taken some time to actually uh, cool down here. Feels bad. So the water's eventually going to warm up. That's what I'm uh, kind of sad about. Not there yet. I love to uh, water as cooling system. I use it a lot. That's because water in this game is mad strong. <laughs> water in this game is really, really good element. It's so good. It's so... I guess you could call it heat resistant, if that's a proper term. But yeah, water cooling, man, is a strata choice. I'd recommend it. Alright, so this is going to be off-gassing. Can't be mad. There's some water in the pipes here, which we'll leave for now. And then we're going to be making our bedrooms down here. Okay. So, we're going to continue the pattern. And then plastic bed like that. So this means we're going to need a sweeper here. We'll make this out of iron. Ah, and then this is going to be a setup like this. Yeah, this is going to look a little bit different. No one's going to be able to tell. Kappa. Alright, so this is effectively going to be the dream journals. And we always bring it out. Oh... We'll do it here. That actually makes the most sense. And then we just have to shoot on top of the house plant. Nice. I could live with that. I could live with that. This might mean, though, uh, we would want a uh, gas line here, is what I'm thinking. And then I think it might be better going straight across the top. I don't think it really matters. I think this is okay. And then we're going to have to get the suits inside. Alright, so this and that. Or oh, am I out of copper? Oh, I'm out of copper. No way. Oh, man. Oh, no, I'm okay. Dude, I'm running low on copper of all of the things. Out of ore already? It'd be like that sometimes, man. 
they don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. Really do be like that though sometimes. You just hate to see it. Alright, so if that's like that, I'm thinking both of these could be removed. And then I would put the insulated towel inside. And it'd be like that. And then the reasoning is because I would want that to be a regular tile. Is this is unreachable? Oh no! <laughs> All right, we'll build that ladder just to reach that. Are we there yet? Oh, we're there. Ah, uh, what's happening? Oh, it can't land because of this. God damn it! All right, just land here, dude. That's that's bad because they're swapped. The first rocket should be here because it's actually filled with more. But it's fine. All right, so we need to dig this out on the highest priorities. One, two, three, four. Oh, I can't reach. Oh, come on, dude. How are you gonna do that to me? Floating shenanigans. All right, so this is okay. Let's go inside. And the reason why is we gotta do a suit swap. Oh, I never did the power thing. Oh, dude, I needed to do this. And then we'll do that into... How come it's saying I don't have any type of minerals? Oh, it's because it's on uh, inside only. I know we have minerals here, dude. What are we doing? All right, whatever's. Oh, come on. There we go. That's all we needed to connect. And then this didn't need that anymore. What are you guys doing? Dude. I just gave you guys suits. I just gave you guys suits, man. The dupes are, are struggling bad already. Still don't know how those turn into tiles. I don't know either, man. Something weird happened. Anyways, I need that done ASAP. Otherwise, the rocket can't land. <laughs> we need that done, man. Alright, so I need this I think we could land with the ladder there I don't think that's ever going to be a problem I might be wrong though but we, ne we need to dig that out I'll remove the ladder just in case I have my doubts alright build it out boys we need to build this out we're going to have all the refined metal right here uh, we got our ladders in. We're going to build that. Get rid of this. Because we can climb across the top now. This is just going to be... So this is steel. Uh... I think the logic here is that we are going to put steam turbines on top. So that this, this should never get hot enough to overheat. That's going to be the logic there. Guys, I gotta, I gotta fix my pants, dude. It's pulling up in some bad spots. Man, don't you guys hate that, man? That stuff is the worst. All right, all right. I apologize. I apologize. Uh, we'll want that connected. That goes up top to here, which is fine. We do want to do that, and then we do want to get rid of the batteries. Okay, 
So we know we want that. We're going to build this. Uh, these are going to come in from the bottom. And then we need to make an infinite pressure for that. So we could probably just put it over here, I'm thinking. These are not going to be a problem. And then we have to, uh, yeah, this is the worst part right here. We're going to have to bop the Biobot Builder. So from this design, I do want that. We know these are two tiles, so we could probably do that. And then we know we're going to have to vacuum the bottom. Uh, this is also going to be a metal tile, but we want to use that to vacuum the top. Actually, we don't need to do that because we need to add water. So that's five. Uh, I guess we could do this. Realistically, I don't think we need that tile. Oh, I think it's because this is insulated. I believe that might be why. Yeah, and then we're going to have to connect this wire to that wire. Alright, we have that. So we climb through this way. This is only to get to the bottom. I guess we could climb up too to go up this way. And then... Five... So is it this one? It could be. That one might be the reasoning why we don't need that. And it's here instead. I want to keep it though, just in case. We can make it wider than we need it to. Yeah. So we'll put it here. Absorb heap drip here. Five. That means it is going to be like that. Uh, here here and then we'll have one here and then that means we have to dig this and then remove these four I don't think this is going to need oh man Because the thing with this is that I might need to do self-cooling. And I think we do. Self-cooling design here. I guess that's fine. Oh, we, we were thinking about running the uh, rail items on top. To keep the turbine cool. Yeah, that works, actually. That's probably the play. Uh, Alright, we're going to have to move the water. Otherwise, it's going to fall down. I don't want to deal with that. Alright, speed this up. Let's let them work on this for a while. This is tied up. Not bad. So we want this, and we want that. Okay, so these are going to be rooms. Probably bathrooms. How wide is this? Seven. Oh, I could almost fit. It's so bad. Kaykun rolls a 14. Welcome in, Kaykun. I see you over there. How are you? Hello, hello. Welcome in, welcome in. Do these guys deserve showers? <laughs> Do these guys deserve showers? One, two, one, two. Will it help the dreams? I don't know, man. Technically, no. Don't you have one more tile in the wide? So in the wide right here, or no, so I'm putting the door here, right? Because I want the one tile gap for symmetry. And then we would have this. I'm thinking we could push it back. That does actually work out. 
kind of mad about that, though. What's going on, Kill Renee? I see you over there, Narander. You too. Welcome in. Welcome in. Hope you guys are doing well, man. Happy Sundays, everyone. It is indeed Sunday, so hope you guys are having the Sunday best. Only way to do it. I think we're going to have to seal this up on that side like that. I think that's going to have to be the plan. And then that way we get the extra tile space. So it lines up kind of nicely. Alright, and then with this, we would need to do one, two. We're going to have multiple bathrooms. And then we're going to have a shower at the bottom. Alright, we'll just give them the basic sets. And then we gotta do the plumbing here. Okay, so dirt of water goes... ...to the middle. Okay, and then that's like that. And then clean water... Uh, goes this way. So we'll do it like that. Alright, so dirt of water comes out that way. Clean water comes in from this side. Or we come in from here and goes all the way up. And then we have the buildings up top. That could work, because then the spawn's right there. So... Oh, we would still have that, though, because there's no connection on the side. Yeah, so that still happens. And then this is the dirt or water line. That probably comes out this way. And then we need to relocate that. Okay, so this is likely this. So we could have a clean setup. And then we're going to want this so that we go through without any uh, anything blocking us. This is exactly four times. Oh, no, it's five. <laughs> I was going to say, this is exactly the width of one of these buildings. I was going to say, that's really nice. All right, we'll let them do that. Let's go back to these guys. How are we doing over here? We landed. Good stuff. Uh, let's go crew. They're probably holding their breath, right? Yep, classic stuff. How is no one inside? How is no one coming inside? Our ghost rider needs to do this. There we go, non-stop naps was having big problems. And then this is D Mayor. Gotta deliver some suits. Alright, they're gonna do their thing. Your idol. Wow, is everything done? That's impressive. Uh, let's move the P water. Let's move the Abyssalite. We now need to move these four. We can climb up this way. Uh, we need to spill water here. So, we need to get regular water. Ah, we just mop it up. Oh, that's perfect. So, let's drop water off here. Almost selected Molten Cobalt, because that looks nice and blue. Alright, where are you getting water from? Oh, right here. Nice. Just what we needed. Wait, wait, wait. Where are you going? Wait, why did you pick up water inside? Oh, you're using the toilet. Wait, that was jank. What was that? Alright, so you guys are all good now. Allow you guys out. Yo, man, we need to mop some water so we could drop it off here. Uh, that means then I would want to seal this up. And then I need to make sure I don't add too much water here. Because that's going to be another thing. I need to make sure to be able to actually uh, get steam. 
All right, so that's likely going to be how that's going to have to work. Um, power is here, typically. And then we're going to have to get a liquid layer right here as well. All right, so move, move. That's a good amount of water. Got the autosave lag. All right, let's uncheck that, and then we mop it up because we want to use that water right here. That way we get a nice seal. Okay, so we will have the come in from up top. It's probably going to be this time. Got to move out those items. Everything else should be okay for now. Uh, let's sweep these. And then we know this is supposed to be a little bit of water. Oh, that's going to be this bottle. Yeah, we'll do that. And then we'll move another auto bottle soon. We got to move the uh, that bottle first, though. And then it's going to be these three. That's ten. So it's going to be here. And I think it's going to be these two that we're going to want to try to set up. This is in 200 over 10 tiles. What is that? 10 kilograms per tile, right? And then 20 and then divide that by three. So it's about six kilograms. Okay. This is around 20. No, maybe. Yeah, it's, it's averaging out still. And then once it becomes steam up and down, it's going to be a little different. Okay, cool. Let's remove these ladders. We're going to want to do that. This is going to be the way to climb down now, so we got to move that out. Let's actually, before we do that, we need to get the second water right here. Because we need to get the water spilled on this setup. Uh, since everything else should be done, I do want to seal this. It does mean this guy, if he goes inside to do this, he's going to get stuck. And then... This is overpressured. We don't want this running yet. So I will want like a liquid lock to go in temporarily. Alright, we should let them rock for now. They should be okay. All right, bathroom's getting situated. Oh, nice. Uh, we want to pliers this. Get rid of that. Get rid of this. Nice, nice. It's coming together. So how has this... Oh, this is cool now. Nice. The meal lice is growing. Can't complain. This area has cooled down by a lot. Let's go. Can't be mad about that. Maybe I should put some radiant pipe going into the top. That might be something to do. We do have the pee water for that, so I'm not really too mad. Uh, print about. Let's grab the coal. Let's go do that strat. I like this idea. We're going to run iron right here. And then we're going to go like that, like that, like that. I guess we could put iron on the side. So a double radiant. And then we're going to decon this tab to go up top. And then that should maintain temperature a little bit better. All right. We have all the water here again. And that is all the water just randomly on the ground <laughs> that we've been mopping up. This has also gotten kind of warm to around 37 degrees. All right, so first things first, we will pump the water. We do need to keep chilling. I will have to do this though. We need to add uh, steam mass. And we're also going to power this line. There we go. So this is because the water is a little bit warm. We're just gonna pump it all away and then add some more cold water to absorb some more heat. Slow process, but we gotta do it. Still doing the pipes. Oh, I never pulled down the power wire on this side. Alright, it's not bad. 
And then we gotta get the power to this. Uh, looks like I will have to just cross right here. And then it probably just goes like that. Back to this side, what's wrong? No one's stuck, right? That'd be the bad thing, someone actually is stuck. All right, let's get rid of that. We're moving some water here, we gotta stop. Uh, how much is this? Ooh, just a little bit too much. All right, that's gonna be this time. That should be okay. Still sweeping. So we're just gonna be wanting to mop up the water right there. This is gonna be a locked up room, right? So we know we need to get rid of that and we're gonna be climbing down. All right, so let's move you. Let's move this. And then let's put a tile there. We're gonna be vacuuming this from the inside. That's gonna be the idea. And then I think the setup would be simple, right? Five. Oh, I can't put that there. Ah, that's funny. So, that's 11. Okay. One, two, three, four. That's tough, yeah. We'll have to do it like that. Oh, I can't do this then. I mean, it doesn't really make sense to have a separate setup. So we'll just have them both merge right here. Please, this this looks like a trap. He's going to walk inside. Please do it from here. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Step down, step down, step down. You can't do that. Yeah, there we go. Oh, you can't reach it now. All right, we need a ladder here then. That should be okay. And then... That would probably be the design. This looks mad jank. Alright, that should be okay. Alright, we got the water. Oh, that's way too much. Uh, what's the distance here? 5 times 2? 10? And then... We need at least 10 here. So it's six, so we do two kilograms each. So that means we would have two, that's not enough. So let's say 10 on 10, 20. Okay. I'll try to measure that out then. That's 20 kilograms. Is that exactly 20 we get away with? 22. All right, one more second. There we go, 22. Let's mop that up, boys. All right, auto save lag. Two... Why is that 203? Wait, what? This was supposed to be 22. How did we go up so much more? What the heck is this? Oh, there was a bottle there, I think. Okay. We gotta move this out first. We gotta do that again. Alright, and then we do this again. Someone give me a bottle. There we go. Wow! Alright. Alright, 23. I'll live with that. So now let's mop it up. Oh, of course the all right 23 let's move that here let's go let's go so I should be able to climb down here but I know the gas bubbles are gonna want the edge ones to be open so that the water could spill oh come on 
do the job, dude. What are you doing? Oh, you're not even going to do it? Hit the empty. A Taradra coming in with the raid. Thank you so much for the raid, Taradra. I see you over there. Shout out to you. Playing some World Warcraft. Hey, how's the wows? Are you playing uh, SOD? I see you over there, man. I didn't know you were back on the wows. Welcome in my Cabrero Shell. Hello, hello. Hypersonic Nerd. I see you guys over there. We come to boop. Don't boop the mama, man. He's asleep. The little babies just want to stay warm. But I see you over there, man. Grinding insane title retail. What's insane? That's the insane, right? Isn't that an old title? Isn't that isn't that no light in the darkness? Isn't that no light in the darkness? That's you do uh No Light's another title. What's the no light title? Wasn't that the insane? I'm thinking of something else. Alright, we gotta put the tile there now. And then try to get it there as well. So that being uh water is perfect. What is the insane title? I used to be an achievement hunter on the War of Warcrafts, because I'm naturally an achievement hunter when I play MMOs. I used to have a lot of titles. I used to have a lot of titles. I don't remember what the insane was, though. Oh, was that the... Oh my god, that one. Yeah, that one sucks. Holy shit. Yeah, so that title, yeah, 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 yeah. You have to do it like in a specific order because some of the reps are uh, opposing to some of the other reps. So gaining one rep puts you negative in another. Right? Oh, man. I, I would farm mounts. Missing Raptor from ZG. I see you over there. I used to collect proto drakes, man. You could still do it. Oh, wow. Dude, that's such a grind, man. That is a hundred percent grind. It is what it is, though. It is what it is. Damn, that's a grind, my dude. I see you over there. I don't know if I, I think I do need water here, and we're not going to cap this. I don't think we can. And I have all mount. I see you over there. Alone in the darkness is Yogg-Sir on 25. Alone in the darkness. Gotcha, gotcha. Why did I think that was called the insane? But yeah, I remember that one. Dude, I, I dude, it's so funny. I have, uh, so I was like one of the few people that grinded Cenarian Refuge. That is right below, uh, dude, what's that place called where you get your forms as a druid? So there is that place right underneath that area that's right next to, like, the other grizzly area, the timber something. I grinded the Cenarian Refuge rep, and I got the Hippogriff mount. The funny thing was, was that I was Horde. So no one, not a lot of people knew about that, so when... When BC came out. Oh, no, no, no. It was during BC. No, I think I'm thinking about something else. Never mind. There, I, I did the Scenarian rep grind, though. <laughs> I did the Scenarian rep grinds. I remember that. Oh, you have Memron's head? Dude, I used to... We used to sell those. Uh, back when I used to play uh, Wrath. We used to sell uh, hardcore runs. Hard mode runs, I'm sorry. But we'd only do 10 man. We, we didn't have the people to do 25. So we would carry one person and nine men, all the hard modes. But we were like, we knew what we were doing, like geared to the top. But yeah, <laughs> we used to sell runs, man. We, I had all proto drakes during Wrath. And the 25 man we did was in-house only. We couldn't sell runs on that one. But man, yeah, man, I see you over there. Alone is no keepers. One light is one keeper. Okay. Ravenhold is five per killed syndicate. And the keep of the Rathi. I farmed 13k in seven hours. Dude, that's such a grind. I need 3k more with that method. Then I need to make a rogue pickpocket. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. 
That's a grind, dude. That's a grind. It's Roger, man. Why you do that to yourself? <laughs> dude. That's 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 a lot of work right there, man. Alright, let's grab the I mean I'm not gonna go mutant seeds, I don't think. We probably don't need petroleum engine. Hydrogen would be for the memes. It is insane. It is, man. Actually insane. I see you over there. All right, I think we're done with tech. I don't think we need a tech up anymore. A lot of... Actually, I might want to grab this. The automatic broadcaster. I see you over there, Mr. Tarantra. I see you over there. Man, that's so much work, though. So, Mr. Taraja, man, you are grinding the WoWs. Would you be playing any of the SODs or the classic stuffs? I haven't seen any of that, so I don't know what's going on with that. Don't know if it's going good, going bad. Hopefully, it's going good. 200. All right, we're going to move this bottle. I think that's going to be good. Saw it sucks. I heard the new patch is pretty good. Some people are hyped about that because you get uh what's that what's that place called? The Temple of a Tall Haka Ball or something like that. Like apparently it's gonna be a raid instead of a five man. Sunken temple, yeah, 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 yeah. No man. Maybe it's not hype. <laughs> but from what I hear, man, a lot of people are hyped about that. And I'm like, okay, that could be pretty cool. I didn't I haven't followed the WoW though in the longest time. Sod is still the same around as other WoW is just boring. Oof. I heard it was supposed to be better, man. I wanted to believe. I guess it's it's not actually better. It feels bad. Alright, we're gonna cap that. The bathrooms are in. Can't be mad. Alright. So the base is cooling down. Nice. Uh I will do. Yeah, we will do a, a meme strat then, even if it's temporary. Or maybe I could just ice this. And that works out. Ooh, maybe I that's what I do. Uh, that's the water strat, basically. This is that. Okay. Too much water, and then we're going to need to loop a lot more. Alright, let me get this in. We add some spells and abilities from future expansions. Nothing new. Oh. Dang, I thought they would like like do a lot of cool ideas kind of a thing. It is what it is though. Alright, we're gonna pull the water from that side. It's probably not a lot. And then we're gonna empty out the middle one. Nine degrees, five tons of water, nice. Alright, let's get that there. And we're trapped. We're good, right? No one's having problems. Hopefully we're doing all right. All right, so let's get rid of this. We're going to empty out the, the contents, and then we need to run a rail system here. We're going to run raw cobalt. So this is likely to be like that. And then I want to run this through here, run it up. And then I want to run it out. Right? So effectively, the metal is going to come out cold, and then it's going to run on top of the steam turbine so that the turbine has cooling via the metal. Now, for the most part, that shouldn't be needed, I don't think. Aw, oh, really? Oxygen of all tiles. All right, let's delete that. We're going to build a tile on top and then deconstruct it. All right. The oxygen's gone. Nice. Nice. And then once we get the rail in, I don't think we're going to seal this off in any way. So we'll just put the steam turbine like that. Power is connected. This should be all good. And then... We will need to run this. Oh, that's right. Uh, I believe the strategy we had was... Run this here. And then zigzag 
Oh. We'll run it like that. That's regular gas pipes. And then we'll run insulated here. I guess this is going to be the infinite pressure. So we'll have to remove that. And then realistically, I need to mine this out. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, we'll do it like that. Good stuff, good stuff. Seems good, seems good. All right, so this side, I needed oil. Uh, did we had oil anywhere? I see some right here, but I wonder if I have more elsewhere. I guess not. Oh, that's 400 kilograms? Okay. Let's do this. So the oil drops and we mop it up. Because we can't mop that right now. It's too much mass. So we're going to want to decon that, have it drip, and we'll hopefully be able to mop it up. Because the mass should be able to spread. Aw, oh, dude, it didn't want to spill. And it's too far away from the pitcher pump. Aw, oh, what a travesty. All right, let's redo this. We have to move it over. And then I need a bottle emptier somewhere else. Uh, looks like it has to be here. Because I need it spilled somewhere that I can mop it up at. Hello? How can I not build this? That's mad jank. I don't know what happens right now. Alright, so let's remove the abyssal light. Looks like we're just going to mine everything out and put an infinite pressure tank. The rail setup looks very straightforward. We get rid of the ladders as well. We're going to need to vacuum this soon as well. So we'll probably want to just have a dump real fast. Let's put the vent down there. Insulated tiles. And... I need to make sure we don't accidentally add power to the battery because this is going to be in a vacuum. Do we have the automation in? Yes. So green signal is above a thousand. It's going to be the strat we're running. So we got to do the tie-in right there. And then we got to mine that, put that in. That's idle. All right, let's seal that up. This is going to be the last part because we're going to have to dig that open. That's steel, that's steel. We're not worried about anything breaking then. 3,000 grams, overpressured at 1,000. We should be good. Got to use the bathroom, get in some food. Gotcha, Mr. Taradra. Check you out in a little bit. All right, so now this is going to be oil. Auto bottle. Let's get that in. And then we're going to need a little bit of oil for the lock right here so we can make a secondary vacuum. This means we'll need a pump probably on the long side. Pull that out. Pressure vent. And then... This is just going to spill it all. We're just going to make some mops. Do a half bottle. Yeah. And then we're just going to mop up some liquid. Steam turbine needs a vent. The vent? These two have vents. We have vents. Liquid vents. We should be fine. Am I missing something, d -Mare? I think I got it right. Right, that's the vent, that's the vent. Oh, I'm gonna need power. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, looks like I do want this. Someone's gonna run the wheel. And then let's put a wire there, because we're gonna use that for the pump. We do have plastic. This is disabled. We don't need that disabled. Alright, and then we have our things of oil here. Thir 300 grams, that's perfect. Well, no. Damn. Uh, we'll do two drops of 300 grams. I need to move this to this side. And then I want to move this 
to that side. Empty. Nice oil drop lock. Get the second one. Nice oil drop lock. And we're going to do that to bop the gas. Realistically, this should also be a drop lock. All right, now we're going to build the tiles. All right, so we're creating a vacuum, as you can see. And then this is going to need some power. Okay, so realistically, we're just going to use a small power line. It's not really going to matter. And then we're going to run the power right here. Uh, this is not running yet, because for whatever reason, they haven't built the vents. And then, yeah, another thing is, is that this is overpressured. Uh, I guess I need to set that up right now, right? So let's make the infinite pressure tank. That's going to be another thing we're going to want to make. I'll probably just do a two for a one pump, because that's going to be more than enough. Okay, Arbor Seed. Back at home. Did we not get the water tank? Did they dump all the water here? That would be impressive if they did. Alright, I do need this. And I need to make sure this is not on. Because <laughs> we're just dumping the water back out. So we need to move the water here, have it chill, and then we'll do it again. Oh! How come this is not pumping? There's not enough water here? This hasn't been pumping. Oh, I haven't been grabbing water. Oh, no, bro. I haven't been pumping water from the other side. No, we're out of water. All right, we have a lot of H2 and oxygen, though, so it's not that bad. So we could last for a while. Uh, did we have the... We did. Okay, so we need to lock the doors. And then deliver some coal. Oh, this isn't powered anymore. Oof. Uh, I need to get this powered then. Alright. Let's just allow them in. Oh, this doesn't work, though, because there's no power. God damn it. Oh, man. All right. Let's get this done. <laughs> hey. Let's do that. Oh, man. I was wondering, how come we're not pumping water? This ain't right, man. This ain't right. All right, five tons of cold water. We'll move that to here. We'll have to cut that line as well. All right. Timo, get out of here, man. What are you doing? There we go. And then auto sweep. Send the coal, man. And then we'll be able to get water from the other side. Because we should have that drop, the auto sweepers on our perpetual design. So then we should always have this work. Nice. And with power comes water. Let's go. We j we pump out more water than it generates. So as long as we have a long active period, we should be okay. Because we're pumping 10, it's generating 8.9. So in theory, it should be slowly going down. All right, we're fine, we're fine. I see you over there, Timo. I see you over there. With no power comes no responsibility. They don't think it be like it is, but it do. And it really do be like that sometimes. You just hate to see it. 
All right, we need to make an infinite pressure design. We need to make a pump. We need to have everything start pumping and handling its business. The dupes are slackers, though, for whatever reason. All right, let's go with these two. So we could go like this. Uh, we could probably do a three. No, no, no. We want a four. Oh, that works. All right. This is going to be the world's smallest infinite pressure tank. Uh, I'll probably build a bottle empty. Then it's like that, like this, like that. We know that this pump is going to be there. So it's going to be both coming out. And then that feeds into this. Oh, ha. We'll have to do this tile then. That's fine. And then we just need power on that side. All right, that's still a drop lock. All right, so it's here. Uh, that's not connected. We do that. Pause, drag, drag, drag. Cancel, cancel. And then there's power. Oh, wait. Uh, I didn't seal that yet. That's not smart. <laughs> I didn't seal that yet. That's not smart. I need to do that first. So, 95-35. Power's there, automation's in. H2 is gonna be fine. And then we're gonna need a bottle emptier here so that we have a liquid lock. Not too bad. All right, let's let them work. Let's go back to here. Oh, this is pressurized, nice. It's just a little bit hot. It's the only downside. All right. So, unfortunately, there's no tying tiles. That would make cooling this a lot easier. But I guess because there's uh, no such thing, we're going to have to do a uh, slower method. Uh, that makes sense. We're moving water in, so we can't really use the space past that. Which probably means... Oh yeah, I need to do this as well. Which probably means I need to have the cold water strat. <laughs> We're going to do the cold water strat. That's what I'm thinking. Alright, empty the water again. We need the cold water. Nice. Good cold energy. So we're going to do the same strat. We're just going to do it at the bottom. So there's no water anymore that we're able to use. We're just going to use water dump here. Uh, we're going to pump here. This pool of water. This was realistically only supposed to help us out temporarily. Right? Just absorb some heat. It's cooled down and we realize it's right there. That's the problem. Everything else has gone down to yellow. Which is not too bad. There's some other coolant sources too. It's going to make it better. And then, ah, yes, the stagger line. All right. And we're going to need to put the bridge back. Now, the thing with this is that I actually have to cut the power. That way, I don't overfill the pipeline. That's what I want to avoid. Because when you do this and you have it topped off, it will... Add a new bubble if this is running, and then that's going to jam the loop. I don't want that to happen. So we're going to want to fill up the bubbles. Make sure there's no spots, and then we'll be fine. All right, we have the weird jam here, so we got to do this. And then that allows me to go through with the bottom line. P water is coming out, can't complain. Yeah, back to being infinite again. Good stuff, good stuff. Food has stacked way too high. I'm going to be completely honest. We have way too much food. But then it's like we have the sulfur, and the sulfur is going up even more, so I'm not even mad about that. How are we on the side? Oh, they're still working on this. Yeah, I think they're okay. 
Ah, they're doing the uh, suit thing over here. All right, these guys are gonna stay inside. Oh, you're not part of the crew. <laughs> All right, D Mayor, let's get a new suit for you, buddy. This is gonna be non-stop naps as Ghost Rider. Okay, they're sleeping. Let's allow D Mayor outside. Once they wake up, we'll do a swap. Double sleep, let's go. Mamba, I hear you, baby. Another breath catch. You got this, dupes. Got a little bit of lag. And then this one is Ghost Rider. Get a suit swap, make that a little bit easier. No one's doing a suit swap in here, which is fine. All right, just got to build this out. They got it. Oh, this is done, so we could actually start vacuuming up here. Good stuff, good stuff. We're probably going to want to move the rail over this as well. Yeah. Wow, yeah. I can see that happening. We could build this from this side, so that works. Alright, let's let them rock. Sulfur coming back. Alright, this is not there. We gotta do the bottom pump, though. There we go. So I do want to do a cold water dump at the bottom. Uh... We could do it on this level. That probably helps us out a lot. I probably should do it at the bottom level as well. Do a cold water dump. Outside of that, I need to somehow cool down more of the map. How do I want to do this? We could use this uh, radiant pipeline, but I don't want to. Dude, it feels like I should put this Radiant Pipe on the Liquid Lock to cool it on the way out. Because this is at 40 for no reason. But yeah, it's right here, man. It's so much heat. Let's seal that. We'll leave that open. We'll try to dump in water to here. If we had ice, that would be a lot better, but we don't. We're not making ice anymore, by the way. And then the water is... Yeah, it's fine. Uh, this is not filled up, so I don't think we really do too much about it yet. And then the energy from this is just chilling. Not really too worried about that. Alright, we're just going to run the brine, uh, brine water loot. Is going to be what we do, I think. Yeah, I don't think there's much we could do. I think we're just going to have to Radiant Pipe this. All right, so we'll run it straight up down. Yeah, that could connect for now. And for the most part, this is going to be down and up. We're going to put a uh, Radiant Pipe going down. Going up. And very straightforward. And then if I could get that to work, we're going to put a pump here. And then we're just going to add in the brine water into the bottom. Alright. They have something to do that's going to cool down the base. How are we over here? Let's beat this up. See, construction-wise, that's actually the more important thing right there. We're running for the pump. And then I need to pump this as well. This is going to be 
foil. It has to be, I think. With the amount of off-gassing here, I don't know if I want to keep doing oil. Uh, hmm, we don't have a lot of oil. I'm worried about using water, though. All right, we're just going to do an oil lock. There is a lot of off-gassing. I'm just hoping it's never going to be a problem. This is going to be oil as well. We're going to have to make sure to drip enough. There we go. Come on, just drop of oil. One's X speed, that is eight kilograms. That should never fail. So this is done. So now the inside 17. This is at 19. All right, so that's active on the left side. That's not too bad. Still moving out the metals, though. They have a lot to move. Dude, 21 tons of cobalt right here. Goddamn. That's so much metal. Uh, Yeah, we're still pumping the bottom, so I can't do anything about that. Come on, dupes. We need to get this done. This is idle. Dude, why is there so much gas here? Five kilograms? Jesus Christ. That's so much gas. Dude, I'm worried that... If I open this and seal it up. Oh, I could come through here. I could remove these two tiles. Oh, that works. That does work. All right, so this would be a steel pump. This would be off of this line because it'd be off of this line as well. Oh, should I have a transformer here? No, I should have this powered. That battery is going to make me think twice. No, I think it's okay. Add that line. That pulls out. That connects. Alright, so now this comes out. Goes into there. Okay. Let's put a vent there. Let's put an insulated gas pipe. I think we end up not using this. That makes so much sense, though, yeah. These two, and then I would be here. I would need a tile there. I don't think I make that jump. That would have been perfect, though. I think we still do it. Yeah, let's get rid of this entirely. So, this is going to mean that this is cut for now. High pressure vent there. Let's not really... We can leave the oil there for now. It should be fine. We need to vacuum this room and then this room as part of it. And then these two would be the option tiles. Oh, no, dude. Get out. Oh, you didn't get out. Oh, you could climb up, climb out. Oh, what a stud. I thought that was not possible. All right, let's go. Uh, so we have a liquid lock now. So I don't want to break this, so I can't pump with that yet. So I need to pump with this one. All right, and then this is going to be a cut line here. And we're going to just move all the gas out for now. Looks like that's going to be the plan. Hopefully we hurry this up. Buildings broken. Yeah, those are the ladders up top. 
radiant pipe. Ooh, it's almost done. Aw, yeah. Uh, do we have any more brine water? Oh, we have eight tons. God damn, we have a lot. Uh, let's add some, man. D mayor, dude, we doing good. We doing good. Aw, snap. We got the loot, boys. Oh, we could add the water right here, too. Nice. Add in the brine. Let's go. Cool in loop time. Need the temperature control. Comes back at 30 degrees. So we absorb 10 degrees worth of heat. That's not too bad. Yeah, it's, it's absorbing 10 degrees Celsius. That's actually pretty good. Comes back at 12. God damn. All right. Uh, cut that. Cut this. Bridge is gone. I think we're good. If anything, I might be able to top off a line right there. But I think this is, uh, this is, this is great. If anything, we can also move out a bubble right here. If it jams. All right, so yeah, you can see it in the doors now. The energy is uh, starting to cool, starting to spread. It's good to see, good to see. This has 33, 36, and this has been more or less ready. All right, so this is done. We're just gonna mop it up and move it up top again. Gonna get rid of that. That's gonna be water drop off still. Nice. And we are still heating up the steam if we can. 46 kilograms. All right. So all the water there is not really a big deal. Oh, 170. Wow, I can't even mop that up. <laughs> That's a good amount of water. Yeah, too much liquid. That's impressive. Okay. If that's what it is over there. So this water is just for us to use. Via pumping. But that was ice water. Now it's warming up. That's not good. I guess we just use this. Because then, yeah, this is going to fill up. And then this is going to need to overflow soon. So we will reattach that. The water will go in, take turns, come straight out, and then go directly into there. Yeah, it's probably okay. All right, let's allow this to be pumped again. So much heat on this tile, man. How are we over on this side? Okay, we're done. Uh, pause. We want to cut this. We want to do that, that, cancel. And then, yeah, it should go to there. Nice, milligrams doing a vacuum on that side. That's not going to have a vacuum. Hopefully the map stays cold, though. And then we're going to run the rails on top of it like that. I think it works out. All right, let's mine some random stuff that we know we wouldn't need anymore. And we know we need a steam turbine inside the room, so we got to build that as well. Here, and then here once we're done. Waiting for the vacuum. That lines up. Oh, and then we need the power line. Here, and that's going to attach to the bottom. Because we need the steam turbines running and uh, adding power if we can. H2, we're waiting. Yep, yeah, that's actually rising pressure. Let's get rid of the gas pipe. That's not bad. I want to say, yeah, we're okay to do this. We need to get rid of these three. This is probably not needed anymore as well. This vent is also gone. And blueprints, scrub fruit seeds. We don't need that. I could take another dupe. Uh, take another cook. He's chilling though. Wow, these guys just hanging out. Oh, look at that. All right, so this is good now, right? And we still have water. All right, so this means we could remove that. 
Hurry up, y'all. And then we'll turn on the AQ again. And nice. All right, temperature control, 28 degrees, 26 degrees, 26 degrees, 25 degrees, and we're going to start cooling that down. The dupes are hot. Some of the spots are a little bit warm, but it's going pretty good. And then this is cooling down. I can't wait for this to keep spreading. Hey, man, he's going to be chef inside the uh, spot, dude. <laughs> he's going to be the chef inside the spot. Uh, another thing we got to do over here, we got to kill the puffs. They are problems. Like, let's be real, man. We don't want puffs flying around. That's never a good thing. So we're going to want to hunt down the puffs. That's going to be something we're going to want to do. Kill the puffs. Yeah, man. Puffs are not cool, dude. They are not your friend. Uh, let's move the oil out. This is our way to go back in if we need to. But I don't think we will need to. Everything should be good over here. I also want to mine this right here to repair the bottom. Then there's also the repairs we want to do here. Uh, we know this rocket's not going to be there long term. That's why. Alright, speed it up though. We got to hurry this up. Come on, man. Someone run the wheel. We need the power, man. So the AQ is not running. Oh. Will this be fine? Because we don't pull more than a thousand watts. And then on this side, we're not using the power yet. And then this should allow us to just tap into the power. So that means I should be able to do that and still be able to power everything. Nice. That works out. I'll take that. Alright, we're building that. The vacuum's almost ready, though. There's already water at the bottom. So much power. Yeah, that's so much better than having someone run the wheel. Alright, and then after we do all that, the rail has to pull out, which is okay. So what we need to set up afterwards is where we want to actually launch everything. Okay. I think we would do it right here. Because we would have space to go straight up. And then... Ooh, yeah. Ah, uh, Yeah. This wheel is no longer usable. And the power is connected. That's all that matters in that area. We could shoot from here, I think. Oh! Why is this hot? No, man. This is not supposed to be on. <laughs> this was not supposed to be on, dude. The items are not supposed to run on the rail. I guess the turbines are getting warm because it's chilling more heat. Micrograms, micrograms. Ah, uh, yeah. The polluted oxygen in there is going to take a while. Having two to pump, though, might be the solution. So right now, I don't know where I want to put the launcher. We know we need clear view of space. We could have it at the bottom, right? There wouldn't be a problem. Maybe it's right here where my rocket is. I wouldn't mind that. Okay, if that's the case, let's set up the steel tiles right here. Why? We need to protect ourselves, right? It's going to get destroyed like that sign if we don't do anything about it. 
So we'll just build out some steel tiles. We have a lot of steel. It's not going to be a big deal. And then that way our ladders don't break anymore. Eventually we're going to replace the section though with a door so that we can have a uh, easy setup. Looks like we will do that vacuum pocket. Oh, that's going to be such a problem though, right? Oh, I just realized. Small issue. When the items uh, land on top of the bunker doors and then we mine it with a robo miner, it's going to fall down and if it touches the water, it's going to heat up the water. Oh, dude, that's bad. <laughs> that's actually really bad. Oh, dude, not like this. How would we even do that then? Because the ideal was I was going to do this. We're going to have the launcher in a vacuum on top of a pool of water and we just cool it down, right? That way, it's not a big deal. You know, it just kind of works. Does its thing, not even mad. So that's the problem. <laughs> if the meteor shower is hot, in which it is, hot regular, it's going to overheat the launcher, I think. Even if it's made out of steel. Oh, it doesn't overheat. Oh, so I'm only worried about melting point? Wait a second. This doesn't overheat. Okay. That kind of changes things. Because I'll never hit a temperature that melts myself. Right? If I use steel. That's 3,000 degrees. And the regolith will technically cool us down then in that regard. Okay, yeah, we could do that. So what we would have to figure out is a corner shot. Okay, that's not too bad. I think we could do a corner shot here. So we'll just have to set that up. Uh, all right, so we want to finish this first so that I don't break it in any way, shape, or form. And then we'll add the launcher in. So this is going to need some time with pumping of the gas. This is almost done. We will need to do a lot of digging, though. All right, so there's the water here. We know that's going to be a problem later. So let's drain off the water this way. So let's mine this off. And then we could jump from here to here and keep climbing. So with that, we're going to go down this way so that the water could drain down that way. Let's probably also mine this so the water could fill that up. And then we're gonna go hunt down the puffs. <laughs> you gotta hunt down the puffs, man. Those guys are not cool. Oh, this is self-vacuuming. We might be done. I have to wait though. Oh, we needed to mine that. Trim that. We could make the jump, that's not a big deal. And we need all the water gone. There we go, starting to spill. That's what I want to see. Slug eggs. We wouldn't need these. So hopefully this helps the spill out a little bit better. The hydrogen is preventing any of the gases from doing anything. And then I think the launcher is going to be right here. That's why. Because we'll be able to have a clear path going straight up if we get the wall. And then we just do the miner setup up top. It's actually not that bad. We could also do like a U-shaped dip so that we could get the maximum kind of design for the Robo Miner. That way we could have the Robo Miner in environments and do diagonal digging. That's probably going to be the logic we want to follow. So this door is effectively on this line. The only thing about that door though is effectively we're not going to automate it. We're just going to manually open and close. Because if we have power, that's all we really need. We're not going to come here that much. We're just going to use the launcher. All right, so back at home, how is everything? I want to make sure nothing's messed up. Nice. This is cooling down. 
Water is getting pumped out still. Not bad. Water is not overflowing yet. Oh, we have minimal pumps. Alright, we're gonna let that accumulate. That's not enough water, I don't think. And then on this side. Okay. Let's do this. To allow all the water in. And then we could overflow. Oh, it's not flowing out. Oh, it's because of this. There we go. Now it's coming out. That's what I want to see. Alright, let's move out the water. Mop up the waters. And then the water is going to get moved out. It's going to be nice. I guess we'll mine this and spill out the oil here. How has this been? 10 degrees, 17. Not bad, not bad. It's going to eventually get cold enough. Alright, so this is going to be looping. We should have a lot of space. And then now that the water is getting pumped up pretty consistently, we can do this again. Take time, or take turns. That way the water accumulates on the backside. It's pretty good though, picking up all the waters. This is not bad. All right, oh, right here. Got some moppage, not even mad about that. Uh, to make it easier, we'll do this so that the oil spill has a flatter range for us to mop up. These hills are kind of bopping how the uh, spills are working. And then we move the oil back into here. This wheeze wart's struggling though. Alright. It's done. Okay, let's do this seal. I think that's going to be fine. And then... Inputs blocked, not enough steam. Below, idle. Yeah, it's all good. And then this is going to take some time. It's almost ready though. So let's get that priority nine and then we could start deconstructing everything. Um, let's do that. And then that. I don't want to deconstruct the items and have it fall down. That's why we're going to do it partially. Got some spillage. Okay. So here, here, that probably doesn't change anything. Uh, let's go here, here, here. And then we mine these two tiles so the water keeps spilling out. Oh, is that a volcano? Or is that just Neutronium? Oh, that's just Neutronium. Dude, that's, that's kind of wild. There's no geyser there. Let's go, Esme! Aw, oh, feels bad. Nice. All right. So we could do this now. Get rid of the pump. Get rid of the other things. So this is just a fail safe in case this actually starts getting hot. Oh, we got the vacuum. Hey, we're actually done. All right. So we have to wait until this overpressure goes away. And then effectively it's done. Nice. So now we could do these. Let them handle their business. They're going to have to sweep. We're just going to remove a lot of those items. Vacuum. Uh, nothing weird, right? Yeah. Okay. This is more or less done. Yeah, so we're waiting for the overpressure to go away. Then we're going to dig and put a uh, insulated tile there. Or a regular pipeline right there. Sweep them, boys. Come on. You know it's time. Still got to build that. And then there's water here as well. That's going to be fun. Alright, 
right, let him work. Uh, let's actually do a check on food. This is at... How much is this? Four kilograms. This is at 38. So this had double the storage amount. Uh, we should probably get a suit change for these guys as well. Let's get some efficiency in. Esme... Did you not have to eat? Oh, you're just exhausted. Okay. Matikso. And then we have Ravko. And then we have Esme. Let's go, y'all. Let's put the suits on. Oh, they built that fast. That's nice. The water got spilt. It's pretty good. This is going to have to spill out as well. All right, we could go around this and then have the build, like, right here. If that's the case, I should ladder all the way up. Like, realistically, there's no reason why I wouldn't. So I will want to ladder up like that. And then we'll have this path be clear, and we could set that up a little easier. We do want to do this still. We want to drain the water, just in case. Dude, it's getting nice and cold, man. Feels good. Feels good, feels good. Slowly adding in the waters, okay. Let's cut the line. Yeah, we're just not have a lot of water right now. It's really what it is. Okay, so we'll remove these tanks. And then we're gonna have to turn this off. Alright. Water. Here. And then water here. We're just gonna put two pile, uh, two piles of water. We're gonna be able to mop it up later. This is gonna help cool down the tiles. Hopefully, this is gonna be faster. And I think the Somnium building in and of itself might need some help. The eating area is probably gonna be what takes the longest to cool down because it's touching neutronium and almost nothing else. We'll I'll probably have to put like a radium pipe segment here for that to work. That's okay though. So far, so good. Get some sweeping. The dupes are chilling. Microchipping. H2 is looking healthy. All right, how are we back here? Oh, new printables. Let's take the fertilizer. Working on the ladder. Okay, nice. Uh, let's get that. Let's sweep up the steel, and then we'll be able to seal this up soon. This is vacuum. Overpressure still. Man, I'm, I'm waiting for this to not be overpressure. No, does it matter? Because it'd be the same room anyways. Yeah, it, it doesn't actually matter. Let's mine this. And then we want to do that design. No. No, the pipe looks mad jank. No. No. Can I move this? Oh, I can? All right, so let's not do this yet. And then let's seal this up. Come on now. Why are we idling in here? Oh, and the generator's on. Nice. That was actually enough to get it started. Okay, and then now we want to do that. Let's 
So it does work. The pressure is there. So in theory, this design doesn't need steel. I just made it with steel so I don't have to balance it. And I'm also opting to not self-cool this. You could self-cool this if it's just a hydrogen vent. That's actually the upside about that. All right, now why are you idling inside, man? I know my dupes are gonna like to do that, so let's actually stop them by putting a door. Okay, so now we would want to do this setup. So we're just gonna pump. I don't think the pressure is gonna matter. So this is a design that allows this pump to pump directly to the gens. And then, oh, I didn't do the overflow storage yet. You need to have overflow storage. And then this should work. Nice. All right, self-powered setup. We're running a hydrogen setup, though. Uh, so a lot of this is connected when it shouldn't be. Okay, so that means that's this. This is no longer need to be there. We're going to need to cool this down for the top room. It's a little bit too warm. Let's not have that be sweep only anymore. Okay, and then power-wise, we should be good. Okay, so now this is going to connect. And then in theory, we could seal this up. And it's going to be time. We could seal this, seal that, the powers together. All right, we don't need to jump start anymore. That wheel's not connected. All right, let's get rid of this power line. All right, so now we need to do the launcher setup. How wide is this? It's five wide. Okay. And this is six tall. Okay. Did we get... Oh, we did get the broadcaster. All right, let's get multiplex for the memes. Did we move? We did. All right, so we want to empty out the water because this is cold water. I want to see how impactful this is. Come on, my dupes. Oh, look at that cold water, dude. That's what we want to see. Just freeze the map, top and bottom. So that's the reasoning why we like water, boys. <laughs> water does not suck. Water is really good in this game. So now we're going to be uh, using that to absorb some heat. Once we're done, we're just going to mop it up and move it up to the top. And then we're going to drop it off back here. And we're going to cool it back down again. That's going to be the strategy. Cold water strats, man. All right. So they look like they're fine. We'll move people into this soon. I still got to do a couple things, like a carbon skimmer at the bottom. And I also need to do the oil stuffs. Uh... Let's put the pitcher pump here. And we have enable auto bottle on this. Yeah, we just need to move the oil out. All right, that's gonna take some time to absorb. We're still running the radiant pipe there, so I can't complain. And then, yeah, we're waiting for this to kind of like spread around. Okay, so back to this side. We know the dimensions now. We're going to seal this up. We're going to be accumulating H2. Hopefully this does not go dormant soon. And then... Oh, we have our ladder. All right. Get it started. So, very randomly, we're just going to choose this spot right here. Automation. Get rid of that. Let's do this. This should be connected. I actually think we do want to do that because we're going to use this wiring in the actual area. It's probably going to be bad. And let's start digging. Oh, that lag. We should only dig on the left side of the ladder, realistically. How was I supposed to go from here to here? Oops. 
Alright, let's put that there just in case. And then I do want to mine that out. This could be from the bottom. Dig all that out. Let's get a ladder here so that we can make it across. Got the top set up. We do both of these. Whoa. Did we just jump? I mean, it worked. Can't be mad. Let's get this one, that one. All right. So with that, we know this is going to be our ladder. We're going to need insulated tiles for this. And then we know it's going to be five. So we're going to use regular tiles first. Because we're just going to put a placeholder. Two space gap to walk. We'll use this ladder set. So, one, two, three, four, five. This is going to be where we're going to interplanetary launch from. Uh, let's put it over this by one so that we could use this as the wall. Right? So, of course, we'll probably want to mine that out. And then this is going to be a regular wall, I believe. I don't think the heat transfer is going to matter. It might. All right, because it might, we're going to go with a suspect design. <laughs> we'll go to it like that, and then we'll have to mine straight up. Okay. So we are protected by the bunkers up top, so it shouldn't be a big deal. Okay, so we know we go up, we go down, and then from this side, we go all the way up. Uh, I guess we could just do this. And then we don't need anything here. We'll be able to build the wall that way. And then this should go all the way up. Now, what we don't know is how corners affect the Robo Miners. So what I mean by that is, you can see how through the corner the Robo Miner is able to dig. That's kind of what we need to figure out, because we got to get a maximum spread. So I'll probably want to do that here. This means this needs to go. All right, let that speed up. We want the dupes working on this. Everything else should be golden. The power here is not actually needed anymore. And then this power is just... Uh, oh, yeah, we could also bop the wires right now. All right, and then we're going to need to set up a uh, space scanner setup too, so that we could only open the door when there's no meteor showers. I want to assume that the launcher will not send a launch unless there is an open door. I want to assume that, so we're just going to build with that in mind. <laughs> like, that's basically what we're hoping, how it, how it works. Let's move the petroleum out. What's in here? Unperishable food, okay. Dude, the amount of CO2 on this is actually kind of impressive. Everyone's hanging out by the food all the time. Oh, we need to get these guys a rec room soon. Yeah, that's gonna be something we're gonna wanna get them. All the activities. Okay, hopefully no one gets stuck on that. Yep, we'll come back. Okay, these guys. The cold energy is working really well right here. And then the cold energy down there has helped out a lot. Yeah, so I do want another thing of cold energy down here. And I think it's because of the oil. I think once we move away the oil, a lot of the heat is going to go away. That's going to be kind of nice then. Uh, that being said, we don't have that much cold. Dang, where does this ice come from? Okay. 
This water is warm. Alright, we're going to run that in. Try to cool it down. This is there. We have water. Okay. That means this is all empty. It is. Nice. And it's on again. Can't complain. As long as we get the water. I really want to move people into here, man. The only problem is literally just because of uh, the heat. Wish we had some more ice. Sixteen, seventeen. Okay, so while it's working, I think I need to extend out to here. Hundred percent. That has to happen. What's going on, Ghost Rider? I see you over there. How are you? Hello, hello. That way the tiles could carry the energy across. And then I think we need to spot cool the bathrooms. Oh, that's going to be tough because we have pipes there already. So that might be where we might want to move the water next. That's what I'm thinking. Because if we move the water next... And then we cool it back down. I think it works out. Not bad. Doing good. Got you on the background while you do some training. I see you over there. Training? Are you practicing the boss fights, man? <laughs> That's what I'm imagining, man. You're playing some World of Warcraft, practicing the boss fights, feeling like that sometimes. Ooh, this is ready. Okay, so the bunker door is not good enough uh oh i don't have this here oh wait this is five wide but the oh but the entrance is only four that's great because i could use the robo for two. Oh, and that works out perfectly yeah you see the two tiles spread like that yeah 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 yeah, yeah. that means at the very top i skinny out Oh, I see. Because then it, it's five wide for the building, but the launch path is only four wide. That's kind of nice. So the reason why I can't build this is because the ladder's in the way. Okay, at least now we know that. So we would want... I see. So it's, it's, it's just a really weird bunker door setup. I don't actually mind that at all. Okay, that means I need to trim this right here. And then I need to finish that tile. And then we also need to have the rail come out this way. Right, because it's got to load into the launcher. Now nah, we're going to get in my third degree in Kempo. Oh, sh damn, son. I see you over there, Ghost Rider man. He's trying to be as strong as the actual Ghost Rider. Learning the martial arts. I see you over there, man. That's awesome, awesome. Ghost is a badass, yo man. He wants to be like Nicolas Cage. Gotta do what you gotta do, man. Gotta keep on digging. Oh, these are not necessary. Let's remove these ladders. Trim that, trim that, trim that. Okay. Do all that should work out. Oh, it's all CO2 now. Wow. Where did the CO2 even come from? Wasn't shouldn't this be always be steam? Oh, I guess it dropped in. I don't know. Looks kind of jank. Okay, 
so I think we're going to have a weird setup here. Yeah, okay. This is kind of tough, but I guess it should be fine. I should be able to have it diagonal, right? Yeah, okay. So... It should be this side then, because I'll be able to come up from this side and climb up. Yeah, that all works out. And then I get to remove this and that. Yeah, 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 that's what I need to do. We got the seal, no one got stuck, good, good. We also probably want to trim all three down. Alright, we need this mine down, man, if we can. Okay, got some coal. Didn't know it was already Christmas. Getting coal, dude. I'm a bad, I'm a bad boy. Was not making Santa proud. Getting the coal all day, every day. Aw, uh, Esme, you got this. There we go. And we got that. Ooh, that's a fall. That's a fall right there. All right, so it was a bunker door set up. Oh, I see why that's a problem now. The bunker door isn't insulated. I see. Oh, that's a hor- this is a horrible spot then. I just realized that. Because technically that's what I want. Oh, wow, that's- that's gonna be a- yeah. It's because the background hikes up right here, that's a problem. Is it- can I prevent that from being a problem? Oh, another thing is... Oh, okay. I think it might not actually matter. It's what I'm thinking. Oh, they just dropped food? Oh, that's messed up. Yeah, it's a good chance this doesn't actually matter, right? And then we know it's like this. like that we would mind this to be able to build that so it looks like I say F everything we don't do a corner dig we just do a proper dig so it's basically this which I don't mind How would that work, though? Because if that's the door, we would probably do something like these are bunker tiles. Hey, Bricks! Coming in with the raid! Thank you so much for the raid, Bricks. I see you over there. Bricks raid go burr. Yo, man, welcome in, welcome in. Shout out to you. How was the streams? Oh, wait. Oh, I missed the R. Oh, shit. I misspelled the name. You got three R's in that. There we go. Playing some Onis, nice. Same amount of letters. Ah, I see, I see. 
I see, I see. How was the streams? What did you guys get done in the Onis today? Welcome in, welcome in. I see you guys over there. Those of you guys don't know me, my name is Too Legit City. Playing some... Oh, I just typed in chat instead of uh, in the game. Playing some Onis right now. We're trying to do a uh, off-planet tamer and then a delivery system. So we're making the metals, cooling it down so we could use it, and then we need to send it back home. So we're right here. We're going to send it over to here. And this is our base. It's looking pretty good right now. I'm trying to set up a Somnium area at the bottom, but it used to be hot, so we're just uh, cooling down the area before we move the people in. And I need to do this, actually. And then I want to trim that. All right, it's not enough water, but it should be fine. Yeah, yesterday was, uh, today was DST and Oni was a good. Lot of fixes. Awesome, awesome. Good to hear, good to hear. I haven't checked out the recent Oni patch, uh, Oni patch. The recent, uh, Don't Starve patch yet. Is it impactful? I don't know what's the word I'm looking for. But I haven't checked it out. I haven't played the uh, DSTs in a bit. How is it, Bricks? Talk to us about that. What's included in the update? I'm not actually uh, too familiar with that right now. Uh, so this well, this could stay there. We're going to mop the bottom layer, though, I think. It's a little heavy. Uh, Togon hosted today because my computer refused to open the 3,000-day uh, world for very long. Ooh, yeah. 3,000-day world. Yep. I would imagine, man. Have the problems with that. So much good stuff. Rot dissipates with enough rain now. Oh, that's nice. That's one of the things I had problems with with Don't Starve. At some point, there's just trash everywhere, man. <laughs> you stop picking up the loot. Berger comes, knocks down your fort. You're like, I have too much wood. We're just going to leave it on the floor, man. <laughs> Having some of the items disappear like that now, it's kind of nice. So many things just stay on the floor, man, for way too long. But that's awesome, awesome. That can't be the only thing added in, right? Wasn't it something to do with automation? I think I, that was like that's in the title name or something. Oh, there's so much stuff. I believe it. I believe it. All right, I think it's gonna be like that. The one tile, and then that's a vacuum on that side. There's so there's no heat transfer. If that's the case, I think I could get away with the meme build like this. Oh, I'm worried though. Um, yeah, I guess that would work. I don't want to do that though. There's a sweepy kind of rope on DST now. The Wobot. There's a junkyard haven't found yet. And the Wobot has to do with that. Wait, 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 wait. So I call him Wix. I know it's WX. So is this like the WX patch? Hold up. <laughs> is that what that means? This is the WX patch? Oh, it's not. There's a scrappy wear pig. Okay. There's another one. That's awesome. Yo, man. WX not getting the love, even though it's with all that. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. Oh, the wear pig's not out yet. Gotcha, gotcha. I might have to check it out. It's been a long time since I've played. I haven't even properly leveled up the characters with the uh, revamps. I haven't even leveled up the characters yet, man. I need to do that. We did get confirmed, though. The next update is a one more skill tree. Seemed like multiple skill trees coming. Nice. That's awesome. It's funny, man. It kind of feels like it's... It's it's becoming an MMO. <laughs> it's becoming an MMO, man. I'm getting skill trees now. Oh, we got to get Walter soon. Better slingshot. Yo, man. No one pays attention to... Uh, Oh, what's the guy's name? I forgot his name. What's the mime's name? Oh, I forget his name. The mime uh, guy from Don't Starve with the balloons. 
Wes. Ah, uh, there we go. Yeah, man. Wes needs some love, dude. Blue Necromancy needs uh, upgrade. <laughs> Blue Necromancy needs an upgrade. Or at least I think so. Might just be me, though. Then again, it could be just difficult for the challenge. I've seen that before, right? Sometimes things are difficult just for the challenge. West wearable balloon bot. Dude, he already has that. He didn't even need the update. <laughs> Give my man some balloon hats. But yo, Bricks, I see you over there. Thank you so much for the raid. If you guys don't know Bricks, Bricks does a lot of Don't Starve. That's Moni as well, so go check him out. But uh, yeah, appreciate the raid. If you got to take care of things, you know, what are those post streams? You know, take care of it. No worries. I'll take care of your folks. But hey, appreciate the raid, though. Got to put that out there before anything else happens. Yeah, DSD Sunny, Oni these days. Awesome, awesome. Yo, man, Oni's getting a DLC. It's going to be good times. We're getting a new DLC soon. Lovely to catch you live. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. So we're going to do a door here, right? I think it needs to be here. Which means we'll have heat transfer. Like, is that going to matter, though, is the thing. So pumped. I just want to hear the name of the DLC. That's all I want to hear. This does overheat. Uh, dude, there's no realistic way. Ice that floats. Ooh. Yeah, that's not going to happen. <laughs> yeah, that, I don't think that's going to ever be added to the game. Ice that floats. Because it's like, wh how would you add that into the game? Like, from a video game standpoint, you there's no way that would be element driven. That has to be... Um, uh, mass driven, right? Well, it's not even that. You can't take anything from real life and move it to the game one to one. And the reason why you can't do that is because the game has never done that. Oil was the heaviest liquid, whereas oil floats in real life, right? So they have a base. They have a base scheme that they use to translate everything. And that base scheme is like fundamentally uh, how the game like gets translated. I don't know if that makes sense. But yeah, for the most part, you can't take anything from real life and add it to the game. That's just not the direction the devs have gone, right? Like they're, they're taking inspiration from real life, but how they do it will kind of make it that some of the equations from real life and all the like calculations just don't make sense. So it's like, yeah, it'd be like that. I still want it. That could be a mod. But yeah, I don't think they'll ever have floating debris in the game. Because the reason why is just... I feel like that's going to lag the game so much more. <laughs> like... This game already has lag issues, right? Once you get to long colony counts, you have a lot of planets uncovered. So it becomes one of those things where it's like, yeah, it's going to be tough. I think there was a mod that had floating bodies. Floating the Breeze mod has been out for a while. Oh, really? Wow, and I've never actually seen people play with it. Hey, it looks like it's out. Yo, man, bricks, go download it. Ice... There is a mod for floating debris, but ice is hard coded to always sink, to, so the mod couldn't have floating ice. Oh. Oh, wow. I mean, theoretically, it makes sense. But it's like, I could see, yeah. Feels bad. Yeah, man, just go modify the mod. <laughs> Just go modify the mod. Only way to do it. Alright, so... It looks like... I won't have a way to deal with this. Wow. Uh, that's really tough.
Dude, that's really tough. All right, Beerby, gonna be back in five minutes. All right, good luck, good luck. So th I have a problem. So the problem we have right now is we know we're gonna get debris here, but the problem is is that it's gonna be open like that, right? It's slime, and then the regolith is gonna heat up the slime, and it's gonna become dirt. And then the problem we have is this floats. So I need to have the Robo Miner open, right? So that means I can't have it like peeking out through a corner, right? Because you're not going to get the full coverage. And then if you don't get the full coverage, you're not going to be able to mine properly. So we want to have this open so that we can mine everything that's on top of this, right? That's the logic. Now, the main issue is, is that I'm going to need to cool this, and then the regolith is also hot, right? So that means heat's going to be leaking in. I'm not generating gases here outside of hydrogen, but I don't want to use that to cool that down. We're not making oxygen. We don't have water here. So we need to effectively cool this down somehow. And that's where the problem lies. We don't have a way to cool down the Robo Miner. If the Robo Miner was in a vacuum, it would only have to worry about the heat the Robo Miner makes, which might be our solution. Because that would make it so that the heat from the regolith and whatnot doesn't matter. And then what we would need is a conductive panel. Now, the issue with that is I don't realistically have any cooling systems nearby. That means I won't be able to cool down the liquid and we would have to dump the heat somewhere. I actually see what we could do. And it would be this pool of water. And it would probably work well enough, too. Yeah. It's going to be a little bit tough to do, but it would work. We would effectively just run a conductive panel, fill it up with water, and then run it over this water. And then hope that the environment never gets that hot. Now, we also will need wheeze warts. So maybe I could put wheeze warts nearby this to effectively cool that down. I think that has to be how we do that. All right, so first things first, uh, we want to be able to mine as much as we can. Let's use this location. Let's pass on that. And then we know we're going to need insulated tiles here. Well, it's not really going to matter, right? Uh... So let's put a bunker tile here, here. I think we should have it go all the way up. Yeah, we'll come up this way. Floating debris was really old. Wow. You want to take care of weeds worth? We're going to pit plant them. Because when you pit plant them, they're not going to need fertilizer. And then the amount of radiation you get from uh, just planting them, pit planting it, is the same. So we're going to put the weeds worth in so that we can actually get the radiation. But we're going to pit plant them so that we don't need to supplement them. We have pips here. We're going to send pips on another trip. Because the weeds worth are back here, actually. Because Weezer Warts are in here, I think. Yeah, we have three Wart Seeds inside this rocket. We have to come back for it. We'll come back, though. It's not that big of a deal. Alright, looks like the Radiant Piping has been helping here. That's so much hassle. Damn, no, it's fine. I mean, it's, you know, we gotta do it. We gotta do it. It's part of the challenge, right? We have to be able to automate the shipments home. 
We got to figure out some way to do so. And yo, Uglarvis coming in with a 26 months on that 26 month stream. Thank you so much, Mr. Uglarvis. I see you over there. Appreciate it, appreciate it, man. Best Oni streams. Hey. Yo, man, it's only because you guys are here, man. Y'all help make the streams as well. So shout out to y'all. Why do I feel like this might not be enough? Why do I have my doubts? <laughs> Why do I feel like it's not going to be enough? Uh, so nothing's going to fall down on us. And then I know that we're going to have to separate this. Ah, that does work. They could go down this way. Nice, and then we could remove this. Made a mess. Aw, oh, come on. Oh, we're out of water. Aw, oh, snap. Um, I guess we could come back with the pip. The bottom's ready. So we have the hydrogen tamer. Anytime it erupts, we get it. We have steam here now. Self-powered. <sighs> yep, everyone's making a mess now. Alright, man. It's time to go home. I think it's fine. We could repair everything as, as we come back. Oh man, <clears throat> something was in my throat, man. That was itching real hard. <sighs> All right, we go, we go. All right, acknowledge launch. Acknowledge launch. Let's go, let's go. Speed to sub. We gotta leave. We'll bring back the pips, the wheeze warts. Uh, we'll probably come back with the stocked rocket, not this one. And then almost done. I know what we're gonna need though. Conduction panel. Yep, everyone's being their pants. So it's the bottom left tile. Okay. It's not too bad, not too bad. Okay, so how is this? Yeah, spot cooling in the back is going to be tough. This is uh, absorbing the heat, though. This is getting to 30 degrees. All right, so we can mop this up. We'll probably move that up top. And then, yeah, all the water here got spilled now. Can't complain. 49 degrees. This is filled up now as well. Okay. Oh, trace amounts of pea water. Starship Log 601, P is slowly rising. Hopefully we can make it home before it reaches my nostrils. Message ends. Yo, man. You know that's fundamentally not correct. Man, something's in my, my throat or something. It's randomly having a cough, and it feels like it's itching. Oh, Timo coming up with the lurks. Appreciate it, Timo. Yo, man, they're wearing suits, though. And they soiled their suits. I don't know if that's right, man. <clears throat> man, something's in my throat, man. I feel it. All right, so we're gonna spot cool with the waters, mop this up. We're gonna have to move the water out. We know about that. Water's going out to here. And I think we will spill the water here first. Now, actually, I think we'll do it here. We will do a meme strat though. We'll do it like that. That way the water goes over and then pushes out this way before spilling down to the bottom. 
and it's gonna be this one. Unreachable food. Oh, the food's in the other rocket. Oof. Yeah, hopefully this doesn't take three trips. Sorry, three cycles. Yeah, it's only one cycle. Yeah, they're gonna have to fast for today. It's gonna be a bad time. It is gonna be a bad time. So, water. 4,000 kilograms. We're gonna be moving that to the bathroom right here. And then we're going to spill it so that the energy from the water is going to basically paint itself. And then that's going to be our uh, cold energy. Once we do enough on there and spill it out, mop it up, we're going to need to move some water to this side. And then the idea is spill it up top and then hopefully it goes both ways here. And then it'll spill out, spill out, spill out, go on this floor and spill out to the bottom. Let's try to get a thousand to this side. We shouldn't need that much on this side, to be honest. Even though they're probably holding a little bit of heat in the tiles right there. It should be all good. Let's go, let's go. Made a mess, yeah, I know, I know. Yep. Peeing their pants. I know, I know. Being like that sometimes. Oh, wow. 2,040? Jesus Christ. All right, let's move that to here. Dude, 1,640? Damn, how are you so strong? Teemo, dude. You're moving like two tons at a time. Teemo is buff as hell. Explain the pea water storage. You've never seen this design. This is your normal infinite pressure design. This, I would say this is the first design, actually. I think this was exactly the first design that people discovered for the infinite water pressure. So, uh, this design is based off of the very common strat of looking at the vent line and making sure that the gas value is underneath, uh, underneath the overpressure value. So instead of using the vent strat, right, where you just put a vent with water on it, it's the inverse. You take a liquid vent and you put gas on it. <laughs> so it's exactly the opposite. XKG there, you hear me, man? I know there's an ad running right now. I just don't know if you hear me. I don't know if you have the turbos. And then if you don't hear me, you're going to miss the explanation, right? Yeah, I don't think he's here. Yep, ads, yep. <laughs> We're gonna wait for him. What's going on, Dragon Queen? How goes the colony? We are almost done with the metal tamer side. So the metal tamer is done, the hydro tamer is done. So this is a self-powered, self-taming setup. We move the H2 into the infinite pressure. And then we have generators off of that. And then the generators have a cooling system because they're all made out of steel by having steam turbines on top. So this room's a vacuum. There's a little bit of water on the floor. Oh, I didn't add water into here. Oh, I messed up, boys. Uh, we'll have to come back to do it. I think we'll use oil here. Yeah, we messed up. I need to do that. I forgot to add liquid here. But no worries, this is not actually on, and it has to be on for a while for that to actually fail. And then we're going to need to send that back. So we're going to set up a launcher system right here. Interplanetary launcher. It's five wide. And we're sending up a robo miner because we have meteors. And they are slime and gold. So that means they actually start making a big spiral going up top. So we need to robo mine all that, and then we'll be able to send all the stuff up. Once we're able to do that, we're going to be done with this planet. And then we're going to have to go to this planet. Because once we get here, I think we're going to save George. And then we're going to use the crushed satellite to do a hydrogen vent tamer. Right, because on this side... We get hydrogen vent, even though we have it here. This has the crashed satellite, which makes it a lot easier to start sending back power resource. 
and because it's oxalite meteors that actually don't deal damage at all in this game, uh, we could literally just run solar panels for power here as well. Because they're not actually going to deal damage. Meteorites, uh, oxalite ones, so it's going to be nice. I know infinite spill storage design, two different designs, a gas bubble animation, but one tile spill I never use. Ah, okay. Ah, heat extract, then use hydrogen, seems standard, yep. Standard build, standard build. The, the one I use though could be used without steel and it's self-cooling. I just didn't opt for that uh, addition. I just made everything out of steel. <laughs> I was lazy. All right, so this design, it's the same thing as when you put a gas vent and a drop of water, right? So we're doing the opposite. We do a liquid vent and a drop of gas. So we have 3,000 grams of oxygen here. And this doesn't allow the vent to overpressure because that overpressure is at 1,000 kilograms. So since there's a gas there and the gas can't move, the water drips past this tile below it. So the water gets pushed down from the top to the bottom, right? And that's because when you're dripping out of a polluted vent, I mean a liquid vent like this, it's a falling tile. Falling tiles, if you're not familiar with, is what happens in a steam turbine room. So the water here never shows up as a liquid, even though it's liquid as it's falling. It's because when you're falling, the animation teleports you to the bottom. No longer will you have heat loss here from the heat deletion bug because water falling down used to interact with steam, but then not actually change heat. So you would actually delete heat by having that interact, cooling down the steam, but then the water itself didn't absorb any of it. So they fixed that by just teleporting directly to the bottom from what I can tell. And because of that, <clears throat> we don't have to worry about that being a liquid. Because if that was liquid, that would actually bop the style. So because of how that works, this effectively allows you to just skip the tile into the water directly. Now, of course, there's a couple things with that. Um, I have to have the pressure sensor here. Because I don't want the water to ever go below this. And then we might have the gases move around. And then maybe it pushes the gas out. And then this becomes occupied with water. And then this jams. And then this potentially also breaks this way because it has uh, nothing actually unbreakable on top. But yeah, just normal design. Gas vent with, or a liquid vent with a gas tile. Hope that makes sense. Xcage, let me know if you have any questions. For me and Oni, I started a new colony after mine, gap, mine the gap run, and I'm currently building a massive sauna with two aluminum volcanoes and a cool steam vent. Nice. Cool steam vent on the side. So far, only the cool steam is uncorked. Needs to do more prep to uncork the others. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, man. Have you seen the metal tamer that we made? I'm so happy with this. We got three metal volcanoes into one tamer. Damn, it feels good to be a gangsta. Comes out 23 degrees. 24 degrees. Not even bad. All right, so once we're done, we're not going to have metal here. It's going to go to a launcher. And it's going to shoot home. Oh, we just got home. Let's go. Melt the ice. We need to refill as well. All right, and we never unleashed the water, right? Yeah, so it's time. Empty and empty. All right, I want to watch this. No, I'll pause. Uh, we'll do that, and then we need to do steam into there and to there once we're ready. Other ones are unplugged, and then this is at 152. The water is very trace. All right, let's actually do that. So we just let the water accumulate, and let's go. So, we flooded the buildings, but you can see that we chilled the tiles immediately. And then we have cold water. Same thing over here. So we're trying to chill down the area as much as we can. Yes, we're running a radiant pipe setup. 
but it needs some backup. The insulated tiles that are up here are going to be warm. It's nothing we could really do about that. So I think once we chill these tiles down enough, I think we're just going to take the temperature. I also want to do this. I want to move the cold water across all of the bottom. So what we'll do for that is just deconstruct one of the tiles, let everything drain. And then that's going to be perfect. So the buildings are flooded until you get rid of all the water. So we'll have to take care of that. We can camp that up again. That's not a big deal. We might actually release water back up here so that we could chill the geyser. That way this could hold the thermal energy for us. Yeah, it's still spilling, can't complain. And then right here. Alright, so this is cold enough that I don't think it matters. We're going to remove this airflow tile. Insulate the left side of that geyser. I can't put it on the bottom. So we'll just leave it entirely open. It's fine. Alright. We should be okay. All right, so this is good. We want to remove this tile. And then the cold water is going to sit on top of this hot floor. Once the energy transfers from the water to the tiles, we should be able to keep it at this temperature. And then we just need some cold water here to chill out this block of rock. Whoa, 95% stress on Ghost Rider. Goddamn. And it's because he has soggy feet. No, it's because he peed his pants, right? Ghost Rider peed his pants. And then he had to sit with his soggy pants for like a entire boat ride. That's gross, man. It's probably not even warm anymore. Feeling all, feeling all nasty. They don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. All right, we're gonna let the water spill. It's absorbing the heat. So once this gets up to like 30 degrees, we're going to just mop it up and then move it back up top. And we're going to aqua tune the water. Two days of pee inside the suit plus fasting. Oh yeah, he was fasting. That's true. That's true. The fasting was probably what made it difficult. Oh, the chlorine's gone. Nice. So this is free now. Uh, I could mine this then. Well, no, I would mine that. And then we need to finally set this up. Yeah, we need we need to mine the top. Does that really matter? Uh, we could just do this. Because realistically, we're mining everything from below. It's not going to be that hot, I don't think. It should be fine. Alright, steam's coming in. That's already filled up. All right, good stuff, good stuff. This is the actual one we'll take. Okay. This one is not going to be going. Uh, this one shouldn't have food inside. It doesn't really matter. So this is the only rocket that really matters. Let's cut this for now. And I think we're ready to send this guy back. So what we need to put on here is wart seeds, water. That's the first thing we need to add. Toilet water. Okay. And then we need the wart seeds. Uh, we got the wheeze warts right here. Uh, we have to put that in a bin, probably, for the easiest transfer. What is this? Copper. Yeah, we don't need that. This is wart seed, and we want four. We have three in here, two in here, that's five. And then we're using two. One there, one there. Okay, I still have one more, which is not bad. Dude, this is finally chilled. All right, it's really just the geyser I need to chill. The air is kind of hot up top. Can't really do much about that. But yeah, chilling down this is helping out. It's helped out. 23 degrees. Yeah, this is great. It's good temperature. I can't really be mad.
Aw, oh, snap. I don't have enough water. Aw, oh, snap. That has to be here, then. We're gonna have to overflow that. And then, yeah, we're gonna have to mop up all the water from here. So, this we could allow the spill. I think that's fine. I don't want to mop up this water. Oh, we could just use the water that's already there and just turn this on. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is at kilogram. That's not enough. How much is in here? 17. That's that's not bad. So let's do that. Uh, I know we want to seal this. Okay, so far so good. So now we're just going to need to generate some water somehow. Alright, we're going to have to go to here eventually. And grab the saltwater geyser. I'm thinking that's going to be necessary. Along with the, the pea water down there. There's also a lot of salt water just kind of sitting around. I'll probably deal with another uh, water pressure design. Probably move it on the right side. Salt water infinite tank plus the salinator combo. Fits pretty well. I might have enough space to put some suits with the two, actually. And that would use up the space really nicely. Because then you would have air pocket. The CO2 would have to go over and spill. And then go over and spill. Yeah. That helps out. Instead of having it in the corner like this. Because this is too wide. I mean, that accumulates there too. So maybe that doesn't really do anything. Okay, this is at zero because we're just deleting oxygen and that's not cool. We gotta bop the gases at the bottom. Hmm, vacuum the very bottom layer. That may be the, the strat. Vacuum the very bottom layer so that all the gases here tip over to this pocket. Maybe. This did get vacuumed down on this side, so I'm not too mad about that. Whoa, that's sealed too? Oh, that's rude. Aw, oh, damn, I can't do anything about that, I don't think. <laughs> oh, dude, so much toilet water. Uh, yeah, we're going to cut this pipe so we get a steady pipe of water to the top. And there should be moving these bottles up top. Need to drip out the water so we get some cold water coming out. No more CO2 at the... Oh, dude. 9 kilograms per tile. That's so much oxygen. I'm probably going to want to fill this up, man. Because we lost... We, did, we ran out of food last time. I think this is ready, though. God, we're so close. Alright, so this guy's gonna be flying back. Uh, this is the Mars X. I do want this one to land over here. Can I, like... Disable this <laughs> so we land properly. 428969. Can I change? Oh, right here. 428. There we go. That's going to be where I want to land. We have enough steam for the ride. We have the oxygen. The water looks good now. Okay. So let's cut this. Let whatever we have kind of just finish. Oh, and it's full. Not bad. All right, let's go. Crew number one. We're wait, 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 wait. Cancel, cancel, cancel. Did we get the ward seeds? We did. Okay. We don't have the pip, though. All right, man. This guy, oh, he's 99. He's not going to last. Oh, that's a baby. Oh, he's going to become an adult soon. Uh, 90. Uh, 10 days. Yeah, that should be enough. The Mars X. Alright, man. Hopefully that happens sooner than later. We need this guy wrangled ASAP. 
37. Oh, water. Yep, I'll take that. Water is nice, especially when it's cold. This is at 157. I'm still able to chill water down then. This is still absorbing heat, but it's not bad. Dude, this is nice and cold now, man. This is great. This is great. Damn, it feels good to have a chilled map. Alright, we're still moving our bottles up, so that's okay. And he's in. Let's go. Crew launch. Have you ever uncorked the steam vent in a pretty open area? Unadulting waves of steam is pretty cool to watch. I've done that when I... So I had this map if you're familiar with it, right? I, I played a map where I started on this. And then I took a corner of the magma up top. And I condensed it into one tile. And it ended up being 4 million kilograms of magma. And then when I was finished with that run. I dropped all that magma. It was a single tile. And I think it landed in my infinite water tank. And I had exactly that happen. Except, well, there was a lot of igneous. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Steam is not only cool to watch, it's also one of the strongest gases that, like, immediately on touch melts everything. <laughs> Maybe it doesn't melt everything, but it's, like, one of those things where it's, wow, that was fast, that heated up. Like, that was almost immediate, man. Like, boom, that guy got barbecued. That's a lot of magma. But yeah, I probably uh, would give into a similar effect when I'm watching. <laughs> it'd be like that sometimes, though. It, it'd be like that sometimes. All I gotta say is, for the most part, man, have a separate save for those things. <laughs> but it should work out and be nice. Alright, so everything is pathable. I think it's time to seal this up. And then we're just gonna need to cool down the rock right here, and then we'll be happy. So we want to drip water back as much as we can. We want to move it out. This is working pretty helpfully. Oh, but I'm not generating oxygen anymore. So I do need that. Let's cut this. Because I know we're going to need to generate the O2s. And we just wait for this, I think. If we had ice, that'd be nice. But yeah, we needed to mop up all the waters, spill it out. This is not bad. I guess we could actually uh, plug this in right now. 162. Drip all the water, boys. Drip all the water. I'm talking about my open cool vent in my sauna. I'm just going to let it do the thing and pull out the water with the turbines and steam pressure gets too high. I hope it works and that eight turbines would be enough. Yo, man. And that's, that's the hot steam at 500. Because if it's cool steam, then at 110, you're going to need to add some heat to that for your turbines to turn on. I did. I, I know you did say that you had some other things with it, right? The uh, aluminum volcanoes. So if your volcanoes are dormant, you might not be able to generate the heat, is what I'm worried about. Oh, you have a hot one at 500. Okay, okay. Having at least one of those is going to be... Uh, very, very necessary. Two aluminum volcanoes. Yeah, that's a lot of heat right there. That's a lot of heat. I'm going to be putting my industrial equipment in there as well. Glass forge, metal refineries, ETC. Gotcha, gotcha. Watch out for the metal refinery. While it is something you could put inside... I would say watch out for it because it doesn't have a lot of overheat pressure. I mean, um, materials. Like, you have ceramic. That's it. And then it gets up to 275. Like, like while the metal refinery can be put inside, I, I'm not really a fan of putting it inside. I usually just put it outside like this. And then have the pipes go inside. 
I mean, it's perfectly fine though. I'm just not a fan of it. You could do it though. You could do it. Don't get me wrong. That's perfectly fine to do. All right. So we're waiting for this guy to get there. Everything else is seeming okay. Let's calm this down for a second. And we're going to get her cold water. Let's go. All right. Let's get the bottle, boys. This is what I wanted. We're going to accumulate the water over here again. So this water is at 18. All right. So this bottle, we're going to move to here. And then we got to turn this off. Because they're moving the cold water back in, which is a, a bad loop. I have 44 by 33 tile space. The volcano's on the left, steam vents on the right. And with the hot steam at the way up top. I'm sure my heat management will be fine. Though I did remember that I should temp shift the whole thing. I'll take a few dozen cycles. Yeah. You need to temp shift that entire room. That's the downside with hot industrial rooms. The larger it is, the more expensive it's going to be by a lot. So that's the one thing about that. That's the one thing about that. Uh, I'm gonna put this here. So that the coal on the line just actually loads in. That's gonna make it a little bit easier to mop up later. Flooding. Oh yeah, that's supposed to happen. Let's go. One more bottle delivery. Something nice. I could just empty this now, though. And then try to move the other bottle to the top, right? Expensive, but cool. I mean, not cooler than the cool steam vents, though. I see you over there. Alright, so that's a lot of water. And we're hoping to have the cold water make contact with the geyser and just cool it down. This water, we're going to move to the top. Same thing. We're going to do that so that we could cool it down again from the top. Look at the temperature, man. It's just dropping. Let's go, let's go. It's going to take some time, but it'll be okay. Let's empty that. And then it's all going to spill and end up down here again. Look at that. Good stuff. Okay, so this is going to be fine. This is 1,800 watts. Okay, that's not that bad. I will want another power wire for us then. And how much is this? Oh, this is 1,800 and it's on suits. Oh, I could actually power this then. Yeah, that's easy. Yeah, I'll take that line. That's a simple line. Yeah, that's a simple line. Let's go, let's go. You never want to have your temp shift plates touching insulated anything. No, insulated tiles or neutronium. So that means when you're doing a temp shift plate room, you want to make sure the space around the temp shift plate does not overlap, right? My temp shift plate's in the middle, so the space around it should not touch. I mean, should not overlap insulated uh, tiles. You could see that it touches though. This tile touches that tile on the top right corner right here, top left corner. That doesn't matter. You just want to make it so that it's not overlaps. Because the reasoning why is because the temp shift plate is averaging, and then if you add in the insulated tile average, it's going to lower the average by a lot, so it's going to reduce your heat dragging. It's still going to happen, it's just going to be slower. So that's the thing to watch out for with that. Okay, I'll still empty this out. This is slowly cooling down. We'll have to give that time. And Mars X, uh, I need to unground this. And then once they get off, I need to make sure we uh, land at the right spot. Okay, so this is golden. Have I not turned this? Oh, this is the regular Dreckle room, so it's supposed to be hot. <laughs> I was like, wait, hold up. 
my dragos? No, they're okay. This is good. The fridge is stocked. Everything's great on that side. This being filled with CO2 makes no sense. I guess we will need a vent right here. I guess we do want that little bit of gas pressure. And then I probably want some O2 down here from this line. So here, here, and then I have this. It should be here. But this, this is actually a lot of oxygen. How come there's, yeah, gas problems like that? That's kind of awkward. I guess it is what it is. Spilling pressure. We got to get the suits here soon. And then I need to make sure the dupes don't randomly leave. That's going to be another thing. Uh, so they won't be able to use this door. And then we need to put another door right here. So we'll put it here. And we'll put the airflow on top. Should be okay. So the people coming in this way is going to deliver the food. People coming in this way are also going to be the people that pick up the journals and deliver them. Because my journals are going to be automated in the middle. And it's going to be shipped to there. Alright, that is correct. Okay. This is good. Nice. Everything else is looking alright. Alright, this got done. Let's seal that up. Steam and polluted oxygen. This is going to be uh, kind of jank. And we're in. All right, so let's go inside. Everyone's inside. All right, we got to give everyone a new suit. This is Ravco. This is Esme. And this is Matixo. All right, can we deliver some new suits? And then you're free. We want to get rid of the platform. They're going to want to build everything else. All right. Yeah, we're going to work on that. They should have it. And I need to get water here. All right, good stuff. Guys, I got to pee really fast. I'm using the restroom so much. I'm drinking more water, though. Guys, stay hydrated. Make sure y'all drinking the waters. <laughs> Be right back, y'all. We back, we back. Hey, abductor, have a good one. Restful resis, man. You stayed up late today, man. I mean, I know it is Sunday, <laughs> but have a good night, abductor. There's almost no chance we'll see you, because in in eight hours from now, six hours from now, I should be asleep. <laughs> What's your opinion of CNC remastered? Oh man, um, I'm worried about that game. I don't think I could stream it. So, very notoriously, Command & Conquer has a lot of references that is actually, like, not legal to be aired. There has been notoriously, like, a couple of scenes in that game, because of how they did the uh, video shots and whatnot, that I believe you just can't stream. I don't know if it's still part of it. I don't know if they took it out. 
and I don't know what exactly it is that you couldn't do. <laughs> like, I forget what exactly it was. There was just part of it that you just couldn't touch. It's a cutscene. It's a cutscene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, outside of that, I don't really have an opinion on it, to be honest. It was an old school game. That was fun. I remember playing not that much because I never owned the game. I had a friend that had it, so I played at his house, and it was awesome. I love playing CNC. But yeah, it's one of those things where it's like, uh, it's it's probably cool. Don't get me wrong. I just you know, you gotta make sure, man, that it's cool. It probably is though. So this needs power wires. This will never get to 300, right? No, I have cobalt here. I'm just going to use it. Oh, it finished planning the temperature plates. Started with, it's going to take about 460 tons of igneous to build those temperature plates. Damn. It's better than not having it though, man. It's going to average out the heat a lot better. But for the most part, dude, Command and Conquer is awesome, man. It's a classic. It is a classic through and through. I think a lot of people would agree. Command and Conquer is what we like to call a classic. Oh, these are metal tiles. What am I doing? I need bunker tiles. Alright, I think I might need another robo miner here. And another door. The wire's in though. Alright, so I would actually want to power this real fast. Uh, we'll do that. The power here shouldn't be a big deal. If anything, I'll just cut that part. And it should be alright. Like, this connecting shouldn't actually cause any problems. There's no batteries up top. These are going to be on-demand power draw. And then I would want it so that I want to see my range of the Robo Miner. Uh, once we open it. This is probably also going to be insulated tile. This is going to mean that we're going to stack the heat on the conductive or the uh, robo miner itself. Should be okay. I think if I were to play Command and Conquer, I'd probably learn how to speed run it. Realistically. Because it's one of those games where it's like... It, because it's so old, and you could kind of call it a solved game in that response, where it's a, you know it's a game that's like it's been out there for so long, people have learned all the strats, and it's you know a solved game. I wouldn't mind because there would be resources to kind of teach you how to speed run the game. It would be out. I wouldn't mind doing that. That would be a not bad. But yeah, it's one of those games. It's classic. Can't be mad about it, Mr. G. Kirby's Doji? How did you stumble upon the CNC remaster? What brought you to there? Kinda curious about that. So this used to be 30 degree, uh, 33 degrees. It's chilling down now. Nice. Oh, I guess it was at 35. This is still at 15. Doing good. Doing good. It's been sitting in my library for the longest time. I finally installed it and got it on my new laptop. Dude. You never played that as a kid? Do you? You have to have tried it, right? C and C, man. Command and Conquer. That's a classic. The OG triple OG classic. The one thing I liked about C and C that I was kind of mad about that they didn't do for StarCraft was that the siege tanks didn't automatically just kill Zerglings because it's a tank. You would imagine that the tank would run over the land units like you do in Command and Conquer. <laughs> and you know what I'm saying, man? Because in C and C, I think the tanks just roll over the footmen immediately, like just boop, no damage, it's just insta kill. You got the whole collection. Oh man. Dude, I remember one time 
I was like, oh, I have to install Roller Coaster Tycoon via CD-ROM. And then I realized my tower, my PC, didn't have a CD-ROM drive. <laughs> I was like, yo, what the heck? What is this? Didn't have the drive, man. Didn't have the drive. Alright, it's open. Ah, I see. Ah. Uh, I guess we could do it like that. Yeah, alright, so then we're gonna ladder up this way. Oh, we would have to ladder up a little differently, okay. For that, for that, and that should be good. And then we would need a wall here. So it would probably be... Oh, wait, so that's here. So these three tiles is what I have to try to hit. Okay. Uh, these three. I want to say this is okay. And then we'll see. We'll have to see what happens afterwards. I've never heard of Command & Conquer. It's a very old school game. Have you ever heard of Red Alert? Dragon Gawain? I think a lot of people remember Red Alert. But it was Red Alert Command & Conquer. And before that, it was just Command & Conquer. Because it was Red Alert to C&C. Have to hit the... the the sites get the modern uh, stuff for him. Oh, I see with that. Oh, you have the optimal drive. Oh, yeah. You got it, dude, man. Not having to see ROM drives. I thought, you know, we were in the future. That was never going to be a thing again. And then I was like, oh, no, I got to get that back out. You don't remember Red Alert either? Aw, shit. I'm old, boys. I'm showing my age. <laughs> I'm old, fam. Goddamn. They don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. All right, so we're gonna do the uh, pip setup for here. I hope the pip lives. So we need to do this. I need to figure out the dig pattern for that. That should all work out. We gotta seal this up. And then... That's not a thing, right? So I might need that. Climb up top. But yeah, it was a classic game. It was the real-time strategy game of choice before StarCraft. But then when StarCraft came out, and it was just so perfectly balanced in terms of like player versus player, that everyone just revolved around StarCraft. Leagues came out for StarCraft, right? StarCraft League in Korea, we all know about that. And then, yeah, Red Alert died off. Feels bad. Okay, so it looks like because of how this works. Oh, this is wrong. Yeah, we got to open that up so that we get the corner shot. Right? So it's here, here, here. And that means that's going to be a reflector. Very lightweight. And that's gonna shoot the shot. Okay. We could do that. And I think that means I gotta do this. I think that's fine. How do you put the engine on top so that it works? You could only do it in blueprint form. So, you can't do it to a rocket that already is built. You have to build a new one. So you could only do it when building a new rocket. Does that make sense? So you would effectively do a pause. I'm going to use CO2. Uh, I can't use that because it's too big. Uh, let's use a rover model for the example. Click on the rover. Down arrow. You could only do it while it's blueprint form. And then it swaps. 
from here, you can click on the rover and then hit a plus to add in between. And then it moves up the engine. Only in blueprint form. Hope that helps. Oh, okay, thanks. Yeah, man. You gotta be smart, baby. You gotta be smart. No one's actually trapped. Alright, alright. So, we gotta do... These, that, that. This is not as important. I need to get the water situated. We're going to hold the water here. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's so much smarter. Use regular tiles. Oh, that's so much better. I, I shouldn't use igni. I should use granite. So the reason why you would want to use granite for this is because granite's actually a lot stronger. <laughs> Granite's actually very strong in terms of baseline uh, tile material. It's probably the strongest uh, after obsidian. And I think ceramic. Is ceramic actually strong? How? What's the toughness value of this? Oh, it's 50. Oh, it's garbage. All right, so after obsidian, you have granite. Only way to do it. Don't stay up too late. Don't worry, G. Everything's going to be fine. Alright, we're going to shoot that diagonally. We know that's going to be the setup for that. We know we need to build this on a high priority. And after we do that, I think it's going to be these two. No, probably just the one. Because I'm going to climb up and climb down. Yeah, and then we would want to do that dig pattern. Oh, that makes so much sense. Yeah, that's perfect. Alright, we'll do that. Wait for the dupes to get to that point. We're still adding the water. I still want to get cold water. How's down here? Dude, this is ice cold now, dude. This is nice. We're doing great. Dude, this is nice, man. 20 degree, 25 at the edge. Everything has cooled down. All right. So we're going to mop up the water because it's time. And then all this mopped up water is going to get moved up to the top. Good stuff, good stuff. Let's do the same thing here. Mop up the waters. All right, now this is open as well. So we can actually open this up now. Uh, let's put a tile here so it doesn't spill off. Jesus Christ, aw shit. Gee, what'd you do? Gee, what'd you do? Aw oh, shit. Aw, oh, there it is. You received the gift. Y'all heard the ping sound, right? Oh, shit. Goddamn, G. Dude, remastered in 4K, all expansions. I see you, man. I can't install it right now, though. Yeah, y'all heard that. <laughs> got the ping sound. We got the new game, boys. Awesome, awesome. G, thank you so much. Oh, man. Dude, I don't have time to play this. I need to work on the YouTube video. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That meant don't stay up all late after stream. Aw, oh, snap. Dude, I'm just going to go in play one game. And then I'm going to find out there's online play still. Oh, dude, that's going to that's gonna be what gets me, man. Yeah, we still do multiplayer online. Aw, oh, shit, I'm in. <laughs> Let me get a couple games. Let me get a couple games. I'll do them on a win streak. Last game, boys. You guys ever do that? You guys are playing like Overwatch with the homies? Guys, guys. We're going to do play out until we lose. You guys used to do that, man? Playing with the homies? And then you guys immediately lose the next game. And you guys are like, ah, shit. We're not actually that good. They don't think it be like it is, man, but it do. Alright, so we're going to try to build out this tile on the side. So we're going to dig everything else out, build up the wall. We're going to leave the debris in here. We're going to leave the fish in here. Not too uh, worried about that. The breathing, though, it's a little bit of a struggle.
All right, and then we corner dig, corner build. We could do that. That's going to be what we need to get done. This one's going to be interesting. Right here, y'all, come on. Oh, wait, no way. Oh, you blocked out Esme. Oh, my God, no way. No, she's stuck. She's actually stuck. Oh my god, she's gonna die. I don't know who's who has to do this, but they gotta do it. No one's inside. Hello? Hello? Please don't fuck up, Ravko. Oh my god, that was your fault too, dude. You little bastard. I didn't think he'd be able to reach. That was close, man. He should have died. Alright, we need this done ASAP. Uh, another thing we're gonna do is everyone inside. We're done with this. No more shenanigans. Um, a Tixo. Esme. Uh, oh, they're on downtime schedule. All right. All you guys are going to be workaholics because y'all done fucked up. We're not waiting for y'all anymore, man. Y'all are becoming little, little gremlins. No break. No break. Get off the toilet, man. What are you doing? Ravco, wear the suit, dude. Come on. Esme, stop eating, man. What are you doing? Wasting time. Put the suit on, man. You guys are not allowed to do anything else outside of work. You guys are all slackers. Goddamn. Get to work, y'all. What are you guys doing? Picking up granite? Oh. Okay. Sweep only. Please don't debate me like that. Okay, everything else is being worked on. Come on, we need this. How come no one's doing this? Ah, uh, we need tiles. Why they is be the slackers? Granite is that far away. Necessary things we gotta do, I guess. this big pool of water and we will have to cap it so it doesn't off gas I guess we could do a four tile set because we push push how much is this seven and then this is at 333 seven two 2006 that's about yeah that is about correct all right we're doing that all right so that's gonna be where that is and then we're gonna have to make sure we mine everything that's a plant that's nearby Otherwise, I don't think we'd be able to grow the Weezwort. 
Oh, would I even be able to get as many Wii's words together? No, we can't. We could only get three, right? We could potentially only get three Wii's words close enough. Oh, shit. Yeah, because of the pit planning rules. So my pit planning rules are either one, two, three, or one, two, three. If we do Rad Bolt in between like that, that's probably the better design. And then I don't think it's possible to do something like this, right? Rad Bolt here. Two and two? Because it would be three. Three, no, three. That kind of works. All right, we're going to do that design. I don't know if they actually give that to me. So if that's the case, I mine this part out. Yeah. That has to be it. You're sleeping, dude. This guy's such a slacker. Ah, we bought this tile. There we go. And then that's our way in and out. That way we could close it up. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, take the little baby Sweetles. They got the spot for him, I believe. So we do want that. This ladder doesn't really matter. This is at 500. And then we would want to cap that off. So this being igneous doesn't matter. We want the granite for the strength. I could climb in, I could climb out now. Perfect. We're gonna want that. And then the water should push over. This pushed up, that doesn't really matter. All right, so that's gonna be our opening for this. Uh. This could stay there, but it's not going to matter. We're going to mine this tile. I don't think the off gas is going to do too much from there. So this is going to shoot diagonally so that we hit the launcher. Uh, we're going to run pipes through here. So we're going to need to do something like this. And then let's put some temp shift plates. We have a lot of metal here. Uh, it's going to be cobalt. Very simple. And then we'll just do a simple insulated pipeline like that. We're probably going to have to mine this out. The mud should fall, so it shouldn't be a big deal. And then I want flat ground, so we're going to have to mine this out. Might have to go underneath to mine out these little uh, swamp charts, though. It's going to be this way, then. I'll leave that so we can reach everything up top. bathroom ceiling collapse that's all fine oh look at that slime land straight up top that's not too bad so that's what I'm worried about the heat's gonna land and then it's gonna cook everything <laughs> that's what I'm worried about man all right let's get a conduction panels uh, like this like that Alright, uh, both of these. It's very likely we're just gonna have to bop this. So with this design, this is always gonna be open. Oh, and then I needed to do this. Uh, yeah, I wanted to see the coverage range. This is going to have to be mined open. And we know we're going to need those bunker tiles there. And then we got to run the pipelines to the bottom. 
So this is where Igneous is not really going to matter. And then we will just run this and that. Alright, get all the pipelines in. Let's not actually grab that. And then I guess we'll do the ladders and then move everything out afterwards. So, crops. Easiest way to do that is do the farm overlay. Oh, I guess the uh, non growables don't actually have the bars. Yeah, I'll probably just have to go through here anyways. So, let's bop this. They gotta die. And then we gotta go through here and do both of those. Yep, they gotta die, man. It'd be like that sometimes. Alright, this is still hot somehow. That's actually kind of insane. And then we still have cold water we want to add. So over here, dude, it's cooling down. Let's go. Everything is nice. They're still moving out the waters. This is nice and cold too. Dude, I can't believe this area got cooled down that fast. So we know what we need to do. Just put cold water over here next. I'll probably do that on this tile set. Hold it right here. Oh, man. All right, another thing we haven't set up yet is our uh, bathroom storage. We'll decon that. I'll also consider making the infinite pressure for the salt water on the side. Uh, of course, we're going to have to have liquid log, right? How long is this? 13? Height doesn't really matter. Okay. That's how much space we have. 13, so... Liquid lock. Uh, we're going to have to run the airflow line. And then this is going to be from a drip setup. So how would that work? Oh, this is the air. Oh, that's that's going to be so hot, though. Dude, that's going to be so hot. And there's no way to do a... Hmm, yeah, there's no way to do a weird setup, huh? Looks like I might have to. Uh, what makes sense is running a metal tile here, most likely. We'll run a run, a desalinator, and then somehow this needs to tie into an infinite pressure. So it probably needs to be like that. And then we put a door here. And that would mean... Oh, we, would ha we don't have a pump on this side. Hmm, that's gonna have to be a tall build. Yeah. We'll have to make it two stories tall, which is fine. I don't mind that at all. Is there something messed up over here? Oh, they were attacking the slugs. Okay, so the swamp chart is good. Paku could chill there. This slug needs to die. There needs to be a way to crack eggs without an egg cracker. That might, like, just get rid of, like, all resources. <laughs> like, I feel like dupes should be able to throw an egg and crack it. And then you just lose everything inside. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, man? Like, sometimes I don't want the slug to be born... And I don't want to have to build the egg cracker to, to stop that. Slugs are, are evil, though, by the way. Oh, there's no power here. Okay. So let's get the construction of the power wire. We'll do the insulated pipes afterwards. We'll do those two, though. And then we'll do these. All right, that should be fine. That's going to be a lot of work for them. So it looks like we're going to make it two stories tall. Looks like we're going to have to enter from the second floor. This is... Oh yeah, we're probably going to have to remove that. This is a little bit too tall for our liking. This should be where the level should be at. 
What's going on, Geek? Welcome in. I see you over there. Egg will hatch, critter will die without laying an egg. Oh, because it's miserable. Oh, man, it's rude, dragon. But that does work. I see you over there. I know some lily. Yo, Geek, what is that? Ready to go to war now? Wait, what? I'm so confused. All right, so we have 13 tile space. I guess it would be the oil lock design. I guess that would work. Vacuum lock status. Just so that the heat doesn't leak out and we get an infinite pressure design. I mean, it works. Ah, oh, that's such a pain to make though. Oh, that's a Gulliver's Travels reference. Oh. I'm gonna be real. I don't I don't know about that. So we're gonna have a design like this, most likely. And then we are going to put refinement here. And then four, that means that's proper. That means we have the pump inside. And then it's like that. And then the ceiling is actually proper. So it's bam. And then once we get here, ah, it's like that, bam. And then it goes like that. Oh, this has to be airflow. Yeah, okay. I could see how that works. I wish I could push this down, though. I guess I could flip it. So that this pushes down. No, I need that to be... Yeah. So, of course, this is like that. And then that would have to be airflow up here so that we could walk through. This does work though. Okay, we'll build that out. We will build that out. So that's gonna be 11. Oh wait, 13 is here. Uh, that means this is in a bad spot. Let's move this to the side and move the chute. We haven't been moving items, so this should be fine. And then we gotta remove this tile, that tile. And then I need to line this up with... I'll use aluminum for the memes. 12, get the 13. And then technically this is neutronium, so it doesn't actually matter. This is never gonna break on the side. Who's starving? No one's starving. Who's 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 locale? Oh, I don't give them downtime. Yeah, they're gonna be starving. <laughs> Alright man, y'all could go eat real fast. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. Alright, gotta get rid of the shoots and the wall. So much seal too. We're gonna have to get rid of that. Then I think it means that we do get rid of this. Light fixture and the lab window. I'll probably want to remove these tiles as well and just go with regular tiles. Because we're going to get into the top layer right here. Alright, so far so good. This is chilling. We move in water. We is... Man, I guess we should move some cold water into here. Because, man, this steam. It is getting pretty hot. I don't want to heat it up too much anymore. Now we can still heat it up, though. At least to 200. 275. Alright, so what's the problems over here? Seems fine. Oh, this is open. Aw, oh, come on, dude. <laughs> it's taking so long to power. You got it. Hey. Hey. Oh, I don't get this tile. Come on. Oh, it's a shared tile. 
I can't have that. Uh, let's see. I couldn't have that bot. Okay, I think it's this tile. We move it up. And I think I moved this up as well, which means my conductive panel is also wrong. Alright, we'll do that for now. We'll fix it though. So this is ready. We can seal it up. Stuff inside it's not really going to matter. Alright, so we need more water right there. This is trying to overflow and it can't. Yo, man, you guys got food. You guys got food. What are you guys talking about? All right, so from here, we know that it's going to be like that. This is going to line up, and then this is going to be our liquid lock. We also know that this is going to be lined so that it doesn't break. And then that's going to look like that. Now, that's going to be what we say it's going to look like, but realistically... Right? Gonna have to go like that. That's only that kind of sucks about this. This side doesn't actually need to be airflow. This is airflow so the pressure doesn't break. And then we have to use uh, water, uh, liquid type strats for that to work. So this should never melt plastic. So we can just use plastic here. Uh, we'll use the corner. And then on refinement, we'll use steel for the fun. Uh, yeah, I guess we won't run metal tiles it shouldn't actually matter and then this is a steel pump which also doesn't matter by the way we'll put that tile away so this is two by two for no reason all right so this pumps into here and then clean water comes out and that's gonna want to go out we'll go this way into uh the middle line so that's going to be clean water. We might actually run that directly to the spawn. Because that's going to be hot. Oh, that's going to be supplementary water. And that means we could use this as random water for whatever it is we want. Nice. Yeah, we could do that. We could do that. I'm not going to lie, man. I probably have seen... It's Gulliver's Island, right? Not Gulliver's Travels. I've seen Gulliver's Island like handful of times. Is that the show with MacGyver? No, right? Gilligan's. Oh, Gilligan. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm thinking Gilligan's Island. I'm thinking Gilligan's Island. Holy shit. I thought that was Gull Gulliver's uh, Island for some reason. It starts with a G. And there's some I's in there. I was like, Gulliver? Gilligan? Oh, yeah, here we go. I haven't seen it, but my parents told me about it. No, I used, I used to see that on TV when I was a little kid, man. It was weird because it was just a bunch of people on an island. They are kind of like, yo, man, shit happens. <laughs> hey, man, we have a problem. Hey, man, do you think we can fix it? Yeah, we can fix it. <laughs> That's usually how it goes. Gulliver's Travels. I didn't read that in high school. I didn't read that in high school. So American Lit is weird. Depending on where you're at, you're going to read different literature. But they're all like what's considered good literature from like the 1900s to 2000s. Like that 100 year era was apparently like where all the good books are being written. But uh, yeah. <laughs> Man. All right, we got to do these real fast. Oh, and also this one. Starvation. We have food though, Esme. What are you talking about? Go eat, dude. It's inside the rocket. 
Oh, there's no power, dude. Oh, the food's gonna start rotting. Oh shit, I didn't know that. If there's if there's power issues, we gotta do this ASAP. Uh, we gotta do this, and then we gotta do this. <laughs> like, yo, man, we need the power. There's a few movies that take it on as inspiration. What's the movie's called? What the movie's called, man? Gulliver's Travels. Wait, how come I'm not generating power? Oh, we do have power, so they're fine. Okay, that's good then. A few movies... Wait, 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 what are you pointing at, Geek? There's a few movies that take it as inspiration. Wait, 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 wait. Inspiration? Alright, this is gonna be water. Auto bottle's on. Oh, that's the title? Inspiration? Oh, the title didn't change. It was still called uh, Gulliver's Travels. Oh, uh, okay, okay. I was like, wait, hold up. Did I miss chat? Did someone type something and it just didn't show up? How are we keep getting trapped back here? What's happening? No one's actually trapped. Oh, he's trapped! Oh shit, he's actually trapped? Yo man, mop this up before you leave. What are you doing up there, man? I'm like, yeah, no one's trapped, dude. What's going on? Oh shit, the man's trapped. They don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. You're free now. Let's go. Alright, I want to remove these. We're going to get tiles here. I guess we'll want that as well. Just to get to the top. So this is an awkward spot. Just because of how we had to uh, add that in. Sauna unofficially unof uncork. Aluminum's coming out. Hot steam. 26 cycles away. Dude, did you finish your temp shift plates? I was going to say, that's fast, man. If you did. And if you didn't, yo, man, you want to get your temp shift plates in first. Uh, The gases here shouldn't actually matter. Because it's all going to get pushed out to here, I think. I might want to vacuum that, I guess. Fifth of the way done, maybe less. Aw, oh, snap. Hopefully you have enough, man. Hopefully you have enough. All right, we're going to open up a res so that we start dropping off the oil here. So this is going to be double oil. Hopefully we'll spread it out equally so that it doesn't become a problem. And then... Water. This is cooling down. I guess we could do this for now. To get some more cold water. Aluminum's erupting. I have a good base of water at the bottom, so I wanted them uncorked. Okay, okay. All I gotta say is, man, hope it all works out. <laughs> hope it all works out, man. All right, I know I could probably get away with an extra tile, but I think we're gonna opt for no extra tile. Maybe I should. Oh no, I only get one going down. Okay, maybe we shouldn't. Maybe I could go... Oh, we'll do that. Oops. We do that for that. And then we still get the door here. Yeah, I think that works. So we moved that up too so I could walk underneath. Yeah, I want to see how that looks like, to be honest. Made a safety save just in case. That's smart. That's smart. 
gotta have the safety saves, man. Make sure you guys are uh, covering your uh, your butts. Don't want to be in a bad time, man. Oh, I'm gonna need these two as well. Okay, so then with the pipelines there like that, insulated tiles are gonna take forever. We know that. Uh, this is not a real drip of water. We're just gonna mop it up. And then I need to figure out how we want to do the wee's words. Yeah, none of those are decor plants. All right, making sure none of that is growing anything. Okay, so we're going to do one, two, one, two, one, two. So it's going to be here. And then the generators are going to point up. Yeah, I think that's going to be fine. Alright, so we're going to do a meme strat. We're going to build something called crown molding on one priority. Right? And then we're going to put doors here. This is to lock in the pips. All right, now that it's at priority one, we're gonna go back to here, reset the priority to five, and then we're gonna manually increase the doors part to nine. All right, we'll come back to this. Uh, yeah, you're just gonna have to work on that. Unreachable toilet. What? Oh, the toilet's jammed. Oh, shit. Wait, how? We're out of sand. Oh, dude. No way. No way. We're out of sand. Yo, we're out of sand. <laughs> wow. Yo, man. They don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. We're actually out of sand. What am I e Oh, the hatches eat sands. No, we should have changed to only granite now. Wait, do I not have granite? I'm out of granite? How am I out of granite? Wow, I actually am. Can stone hatches eat Ignis? They can. Okay. Ooh, lucky me. Alright. Feed the hatch babies. Can't let them die. We gotta crush Ignis as well. You took it for granted. Hey, man. Goddamn. Maybe I did. <laughs> no. Oh, they're making a mess. Get the sand. Hurry up. Oh, no, dude. This is so bad. They're peeing everywhere. Come on, get the sand. Come on, dude. This is priority nine. No pending delivery. Oh, this is so bad. Please give me my sand. There's nothing here. So I'm filtering pee water. The deodorizers. No way. It was the deodorizers right here that bopped all my sands. That has to be it. Oh, dude. Yep. All right. Let's knock this down to priority three. This is getting priority over my uh, water sieves. That's not good. All right, now we have a little bit of sand. Nope, still waiting. Come on, dude, let's go. How's that? There it is. No regolith on this planet. We get ice meteors. <laughs> Fun times. All right, what kind of minerals do I have? Realistically, it's igneous rock. 
Ah, everyone's peeing their pants, though. That's so bad. The big pee drip. Mm-mm. Alright, it's filtering. It's getting started. Ah, man. The pee just won't stop, though. Alright, bathrooms are ready. Alright, so we're gonna have this running. I'm not gonna need the obsidian anymore, so I might as well go 99 on that as well. Fossil to lime for sedimentary rock, I wouldn't mind that. Pokey shell molt to lime is fine. Ceramic to sand! I'm partial to this, because we have a lot of clay, potentially. And then we could cook the clay into ceramic, and then we get sand back. Mom was awake. I see you, babies. Wow. All right, let's make this forever, just because we can. I might do that. Table salt, I can't because the table salt's used for food preservation. The spice grinder right here. So what's this? Oh, this is roasted grub nuts. This is not possible anymore. All right, we're gonna move more preserves right here. And this is not powered, but it can be. All right, we will have this powered. And then we're gonna put spiced food, grub food preserves. And then we're just going to add it in. So spice food preserves on powered fridges just don't rot. They're just going to stay at the level that they're at. So that way we'll just keep food over there. Um, I'm thinking about keeping this aqua tuner line. <laughs> I'm thinking about that, man. They have AC on the inside is basically what we're giving them. Can't be mad. Can't be mad about some AC. Wouldn't be mad about that. Wouldn't be mad about that. I hear you, Mambas. The only thing is this side doesn't get any AC. Otherwise, everyone else has uh, chilled floors, which is always a good time. Uh, right on the way out. There's still going to be more water to drip soon, so I'm not going to rebuild that yet. And then there's pee water everywhere. I need to make a dump for polluted water. So 300, there's a tile there. Oh, it's the uh, polluted water that's causing it. But it's probably sealed too there, yep. And then how much do we have here still? Thousand. Uh, wouldn't really matter. Molten aluminum, such a pretty silver mercury color. Dude, the molten metals are all pretty, man. <laughs> you never get to see any of them though. That's, that's the real travesty. You never get to see it, man. Does that actually go to here? Maybe it's on this line. No, with, uh, with AQ, it's not going to be possible. This line, maybe. Because there's not a lot of consumers on this. Especially because it's the Rad Bolt. That's not going to be needed anytime soon. Yeah, it's probably going to be at the top. So... This is going to go this way. Molten Cobalt before. Not sure I've seen any of the others. You know what's super jabate? Molten Gold and Molten Lead. They're almost identical in how they look like. Molten Gold and Molten Lead. <laughs> and Petroleum. Molten Gold, Molten Lead, Petroleum. They all look the same, dude. They all look the same. Metal overlay, lead, tungsten looks super similar. Oh, we don't need that anymore. Nice. And then the oil spilled out. All right, so we shouldn't need more than that after this delivery. There we go. And then the rest is into here. I want to top that off if I can. Lead and tungsten look super similar on the metal overlay. Dude. 
there is a map that we played before that is a hard mode map and they put fake elements in there and they have an element that looks exactly like gold in the overworld in the material overland right same color and it looks like this same color and you know what it's called it's called pyrite and you know what pyrite is fool's gold <laughs> i was so pissed i was like oh dude i need the gold for my spawn and then like oh look it's gold i got to there dude this is not gold what the heck is this there is no overheat bonus i was so mad and i got baited so hard by that <laughs> yeah you saw the bait tour series yep oh man Oh, rip ads. Feels bad, Dragon Gawain. Dude, I got so... I remember that, man. That was a bad time. <laughs> I remember that, man. That was a bad time. Yeah, I could have balanced this better. I opted not to, though. As you can see, we teeter around 125 degrees. With a slight improvement to this design by moving the uh, liquid pump down and then moving this over works out a lot better. So I needed the insulated tiles here so that this wouldn't have been in and then I would have moved everything else over a tile. So it would have lined up and then that would have been pushed down I think. And then this would have been taller by a tile. But since I didn't have space I had to shrink everything a tile. Bops it slightly. All right, so we're just waiting for the dupes here to get everything done. Uh, we're going to do a, a meme strat. Call everyone inside. We're just not going to give them suits. Because it's technically fine. So I'm hoping that's going to be okay. That they're just going to breathe. Another debate is Molten Neobium and Super Coolant. Oh, yeah, dude. Neobium, Super Coolant, man. Those two. Very similar in color. True. That is 100% true. Oh, I couldn't get pedestals down there. I think we, we're leaving that blank. That's fine. That's fine. And then Ethanol and Super Coolant. That's another one. Ethanol. Dude, Ethanol, man. Ethanol is pretty. I'm a fan of ethanol, man. I'll have to say that much. All right, that's a thousand at twelve. Uh oh. Once we get hot salt water, I'll be able to run that into the aqua tuner. <laughs> that's gonna be so good, actually. Hot salt water. That's gonna be potentially the best water for the uh, steam generator because I'll be able to loop that so many times. Yeah, that might be the that might be the play. That's gonna be so nice once we have that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ethanol is pretty. Artists did a great job picking the colors. I wonder how much of that is inspired by, like, real life, how they look like. Like, maybe there is a color color spectrum, color chrome thing that they have for the periodic table of elements. All right? Makes you think. Don't know if it is. I don't think it is, but it makes you think. Um, I'm probably okay to just move a thousand for now. And then this is still chilling out. So I want to add the water to there once we're ready. Cobalt blue is probably my favorite. It's a nice deep dark blue, man. I'm going to be honest. If you're a fan of navy blue, that's probably the closest we got. It's a nice blue, man. Nice deep blue. Molten Cobalt is great. Why is this taking so so long to build, though? Get the decon. We got the range coverage. Let's go. Or if anything, I could remove this corner. If that helps, I'll take it. 
I've never seen copper before, melted wires and all. No way. Oh, so that doesn't help me. Hmm. I have seen... Oh, you have. I was thinking, like, no way, dude. You haven't seen that before? And then it's that tile for the conductive panel. There we go. And then we're going to need the wires. Like that. Let's remove that. So I don't get these two. Hmm. Okay, that's fine. We'll put it back. Hopefully that never actually bops me. I'm a little bit worried that something's going to bop me right here. And then as a result, I won't be able to launch. <laughs> I'm a little bit worried about that for some reason. And then we have another thing we have to do at the very top. I forgot about this. Uh, it should be on the right side, realistically. And then we're gonna go over the slime. Alright, so it's up top like that. So this is here, here. We want a two door setup. Now we probably get away with one. And then four ladder, ladder like this. We'll do it like that. This is gonna be space scanning. This is automation. Oh! Oh, I forgot if this is allowed anymore. Oh, that's right. I forgot if this is allowed anymore. Uh, damn, I forgot about that. So what I mean when I say that is, is that I forget whether or not... You see how this is off of the map? I don't think they simulate all the extra scan space because it cuts off. Right? You see that? So I think I need to minimally be down here. So that we get max... Uh, width of coverage. That's what you need. So, with this setup... Oh... Let me see how that's a problem, then. Because it's, it's always going to be a mass issue. That means I need a... Oh, dude, I need to keep a miner, too. Huh, I could put it here. Wait, could I do a... Oh, that would make a lot of sense. We could just put it right here. And then we would just add on, and then everything above wouldn't matter. Yeah, I like that. Alright, let's find this out. So I have to push this up a little bit, and then we put the scanner right here. Put a door on top, wouldn't be too bad. And then we'll put another miner with that. So when the door opens, we could just mine everything that crashes right above us. Yeah, I think that's going to have to be like that. So automation, instead of up top, we're going to have it at the bottom. Uh, Like that. Okay, that's fair. So this doesn't overheat, and it doesn't generate heat. So items falling on top of it is not a factor at all. So we'll make it out of steel. Uh, that means this is gone. And we'll likely want to do something like... Th oh, I can't. Uh, I guess we move a tile to the side. Oh, that's such a pain, though. Because then we would have to open up two doors. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I guess it's two doors in, e in either case. Alright, let's just put it here. 
and move up this way. And then we know this is going to be insulated tiles. So I'll probably move that even down the tile. And then this is going to have to be a door set up right here. These eight tiles are going to be doors. All right, let's get that done. Hopefully we don't get stuck on the side, but it should be okay. Come on, my dupes. Let's go, let's go. Alright, this is in... We want to do right side these two. So we want to cancel that. Oh, all the seeds are here. Uh, let's go into this. Unselect and just do all seeds. Uh, I have to reselect my uh, sweet by type. That kind of sucks. Take the arbor seeds. Home base is chill, right? Nothing wrong back here. This is cold. We never move the water. Hey, how can we never move the water? Oh, they automatically dumped it back up top, didn't they? Oh, yeah, the cold water is right here. Oh, that's so stupid. Yep, that's all the water that we chilled. Ah, oh, damn it. I was supposed to move it down here. Oh man. That was not smart. That's fine though. So let's see. Uh, I still want to chill that. I can't get the salt water yet. We have oil. It's not really going to be a big deal though. No ice. Up top is not enough. We could cancel that. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we're chilling for now then. We are making... Yeah, that's still crushing. Okay, can't be mad. Gotta continue on this side. Okay, we got that. We gotta do this one. It's gonna be these tiles to open up for that. And then this is looking like the Robo Miner is going to be here. Aw, oh, come on. Alright, so we want these two. We got to sweep out all these seeds. That way, when the Pip comes out, he could plant the seeds properly. Right. Oh, the pip died. Oh, come on, dude. Oh, damn it. All right, we're gonna have to come back. That's fine. <laughs> That's all right. We'll build everything else first. Dude, the pip died. God damn it, dude. They don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. Dude. This feels really slow still. Maybe we should come back with the second rocket. I actually don't mind. Um, let's mine this out. And then let's build a rocket platform here so we could send some help. We need just more dupes building this, man. Three people is just taking way too long. So let's get ready on the second rocket. That's going to be this one. This is full, right? Yep, okay. Everything here is good. Food rotted because we didn't have uh, any power. Okay, that makes sense. And they didn't have toilet water. Okay. I probably do need suits though. We do have suits. Okay, so let's go in for this. So let's deliver. Outside, let's run the water out of here. That comes out this way. Oh, that's not a lot of water. All right. Just need to plug it in, man. All we could do. We need to get some toilet water. Looks like we really need to uh, open this up then. Uh, yeah, that should be fine. And then once we spill it out, we'll be able to mop this up. 
Gotta do it. Someone's got me, right? There we go. And we should be able to mop everything from here. There we go. So all this water is going to get moved up to the top. We already took the cold energy and put it here. Nice, nice. Oh, dude, are you actually eating over there, dude? <laughs> you got to stop, man, if that's the case. Alright, we're going to let him handle his business. So all the water is being moved up. We're getting water there now. Nice. Uh, this could be cut. Doesn't really matter. All of this got pulled up already. So that's a pull. And then, yeah, gravy. Might not have the last suit. That's fine. And we're going to be going there. The launch. This got dug out. So I need this. That's the next thing we got to build. This is coming out. A lot of the pipelines are done. Oh, wait. Did we launch? No, we launched. All right, I know what we'll do. These guys are going to fly back, and then they're going to grab the pip with them. So these guys are going to come continue the build, because there's still a lot we have to do. And then we'll bring the pip over with this guy. We'll build out the insulated. We still got to do the second bunker setup. And then we still have to pull out the power here. Uh, oh, the, the stuff got deconned. Yeah, we pulled that out as well. Oh, that comes up this way? That's actually cheaper then. And then this comes out from that. This is going to be... Uh, f is that 684? 684, okay. We have to unground this as well. Okay, so they could land there now. Let's have these guys go back home. Uh, let's give them suits, though, so it's not a bad time. So this is... Oh, man, I have to go through the list. I hate that we have to go through the list. That's you? Is that you, Matikso? And then that's Esme. There we go. Alright, so you guys are free. This is eight, eight, eight. Alright, way too many dupes. Alright, we're going to keep you guys on the schedule because we don't have enough people to kind of uh, do that schedule. So that's fine. They won't be able to sleep or anything, but it's okay. Uh, all the water is getting moved. That's nice. Still mopping. Alright, that should be all of it then. So steam's going to be coming in. I will turn this back on. That didn't actually connect. Okay, looking good. So we're going to move another pip. We have the seeds. Should be okay. And then we are going to want to... Yeah, the other guys are going to land, finish this. A lot of the insulated stuff is going to be built here anyways. 1.4, 1.6. Supplying, suit wearing, building dupe in a pod. I smell a operator builder in the making. Yo, man. It's always it's all about the mechatronics. But that's so rare to come by. Sometimes someone just has to take the L. And just take the mechatronics. 
26, 29, 24. This has even doubt, man. I can't be mad about this. This has even doubt. While it could still chill a little bit, I don't know how effective that would be. So we have to chill the outside next. This is getting to 27. Seventeen, that's not bad. How hot is this? One seventy-three. Yeah, it's getting hot, man. Holy heck. Okay, so these guys are almost done. I want to finish this before, so that's probably chilling here. All right, we're gonna uncap this, and then we're just gonna move the water out. That should be okay. Now I do want to get the second bathroom today. That's not these bathrooms. Oh, I can't. I can't. And it's because... Oh, that's so ridiculous. I don't have the sand to pull that off. <laughs> that's probably okay. Uh, so we have sieve. So we probably have it like this. Uh... Do I want to hold water? No. So it should be straightforward like this. Clean water comes down. Oh, wait. Oh, that's, that's flipped. Never mind. This is a dirty water line. So clean water comes down here. That comes in and it feeds. So all the inputs. Yep. And then this is dirty water. Hmm. I wish you could flip the res. Maybe we don't need a res for this. Oh, what we need is an overflow, right? Yeah, yeah, that's what we need. It's just an overflow setup. Uh... I guess we could just use a simple overflow design. We go with that. Go this. This goes up and then to the left. And then since this is an overflow design, we have to get it into this line. Now this P water setup, we could actually sieve it here realistically and move it from here. That might be better, have all the sieves together. So if I do do that, one, two, oh, I can't do that though, because then I wouldn't be able to put a, a reservoir here. I got cold slush vents, 30 C polluted water and cold brine vent on my starter asteroid living on easy street. Ah, oh, nice. I think you're guaranteed uh most of those except the polluted water vent that's the only one that's rng based if you didn't know that sky captain because it sounds like you're doing terra start on the dlc the geysers are predetermined it's not like the base game where you get actual random geysers sadly that's not the case but i see you over there i see you over there This? Wow. I don't want that though. Man, this is such a pain. I see a sky captain. Welcome in, welcome in.
All right, so I'm thinking about sieving here. We could also sieve right here. That's also not a bad thing. So the problem with this is that I can't put a reservoir here on that same platform. Uh, we could put it here and then have the res leave. So the intake goes up, then overflows down, and then we feed that into a... It should go into a reservoir, realistically. Damn, what the hell? If I put a res here, though, I wouldn't be able to do anything. Oh, that would be how this feeds out. Oh, that works. Oh, wow. That does work out. Because this comes down this way, and this becomes a buffer from the other bathroom. Oh, okay. This works, then. Uh, we would run that in like this. So then this ladder is gone. So we would have it go like this. So this comes out like that. This comes out here. And then this clean water overflows into that. That feeds in. So then this is not there anymore. Yeah. So the green right here is going to run priority. And that's going to be water anyways. That's seeving from here. So they both effectively are going to be uh, okay. And then this makes it so the bridge priority takes place. That means I do want to cut that. And then we have a little bit of space here for some pipelines, I guess. Not really necessary. I guess we could have also went upwards and just merged. But uh, this means this is going to have priority from this res. So if something happens, like the salt water needs to wait or is causing us to wait, this should be okay still. P water in. This is clean water. And then they would both feed out to this. Alright, for the time being, I'll keep that reservoir still. And then it's likely to be something we run there. So a lot of this... Oh, the overflow bathroom line needs to be attached. Uh, that will probably be a true 50-50 split then at that point. This is just going to run down. If that's the case, I should do it like that then. Because this is going to jam in. Yep. We're going to remove this, and then this will still be there. Oh, uh, that's probably a pipe. So it goes up and over, because it needs to overflow into this. Yeah, that should be correct. All right, point 0.2.6. All the pipelines should be working. Let's get some power in. Uh, uh, we have space here, because we take 240 from that. Or one, uh, 120 from that, it's 240. So it's going to be right under 2k. Ooh, we will take the plant murderer. And then the water here is also cold still. Nice. We still have the bottles there for us to move up to the top still. Oh, cold water. All right, we're going to get this out first. And we're going to move that to here. So I need to make sure we turn this off so that we don't move the water into there and have a weird loop. Three tons of water. There we go. We're going to move people into this today. At least I want to. If anything, we'll just add ice here in the future. I think this is ready. We're just going to mop this up. And then we'll move the airflow tiles here. Almost ready. Oh no. 200 at a time, that's slow. And the beauty's there, nice. Okay, so crew, let's go inside. We gotta get new suits. What are we doing fam? best part of having an active volcano in the sauna is that refined metals in the heavy conductive wire is just right there. <laughs> true. True. That is true. 
having the uh, metal volcanoes running when you're doing that, it's a nice thing to have. Who's this? D Mayor. All right, we're good with that. Everyone's allowed outside. Let's continue this. We know we want to get rid of the bunker tile right here. We know that we got to build another bunker door. We have the steel. What do you mean? Oh, that's not a lot. Okay. 35, 100, 100, 100. I think when that falls down, we'll get it. There we go. Bunker door, bunker door. Scalding? Ow. Seriously, that should not have been possible. It's not even that hot. Alright, so inside here, we're going to ground this. Can't go inside. Uh, bathroom water is filled. Nice. Steam is needs to be connected. And let's get the power. It's looking good. We got to move in a pip. A uh, little baby pip. 14. All right. This is going to be the Mars X. All right, everything seems fine. So once we do this, I think we're going to be good. And then we're going to leave right away. Let me get let me get the pips. And he's missing. And he's in. Nice. That means we need this. We might be just out of suits, though. So four is enough. Oh, no, he got it. He got the suit coming out. All right, we're going back. Oh, no, we're not ready. We don't have enough fuel. <laughs> that almost sucked. We almost could have got stranded. All right, we had to fuel up. So these guys are handling it. So far, so good. Yeah, they're building everything out, man. Insulated tiles. Not bad, not bad. Now, from this side, that would be the only tile to have to add. This is how we come across right here. So we have to leave that open. Uh, we will also need a proper way in. No, we we'll probably don't have this opened up. We'll probably have to seal this up and decon this. And then leave from here. So we're just waiting on the insulator from there. And then we're going to need water in here. Uh, makes sense to use pea water. So pea water source right here. And then we're going to want to just pump. Uh, probably going to be like that. Because realistically, we need to bridge it on. And it looks like there is directional flow. Okay, nice. And then this is going to need some power. Uh, this has power on the line. And unless something's actually all running at the same time, it's not going to be that bad. So we'll be able to pull down a small wire. Yeah, just won't connect it yet. Oh, right here. For now, we'll have that. And then we're going to run lead wires here later for the uh, Radbull gents. I guess that should be what we should do here. All right, so these guys haven't launched. All right, we're ready. So we want to do this. Crew begin... We want to have this drain. Looking great. 176. 
Pip's inside. Let's go, let's go. Okay, so from this, we can actually have this set up now. Uh, let's see. So we have a lot of refined metals. Let's try to think this through. So these are always going to be mining. This is going to be locked out. And what we need this to do is detect meteors. So realistically, when there is a meteor shower, all four of these are going to be closed. Right? That's the logic. Oh, and another thing is I didn't set up the robo miner on the side. Oh, that's right. So that's going to be this tile. Right? It's going to be like that. And then we want the robo miner here. It should be good enough right here. So let me get the conductive panel here. We know it's going to be like that. Then it's going to be like this like that cooling down three robo miners hopefully that's not that big of a deal and then also hoping that there's not a lot of like hot gas that's going to effectively make this harder to cool so we will have to seal that up at the end though and then we're not cooling anything we're just running it through some uh, lukewarm water that's the only thing about that that's not that great. It is touching a lot of other stuff. Just don't know how much that helps. Alright, so we're going to need to set that up. And then the automation for this, right? So, uh, effectively, all four of these is going to be off of this. So, when there is no meteor shower, this will be on. Oh, the items are going to fall on this. Oh, shit. Uh, that's bad by design. Uh, so I shouldn't have anything fall on it. So it should be like that. Ah, I see. But we still have a lot of vertical mining. Okay, that's fine. So that means with that design, I would have the conductive panel like this. Yeah, because it's going to be shipping bottom left is active tile or bottom right. Okay, that's good. Uh, conductive panel is slightly worse if there is a background. So it depends on if you have a vacuum or not is the only difference. But yeah. Uh, I would say that radiant piping is going to be better. Just because it's going to be cheaper. This is double the price. And it only cools in the middle segment. And it's also a three tile building segment. So while the liquid on the inside only interacts on the middle. The entire conductive panel still transfers heat on three tiles. It's kind of weird. But for the most part, the only thing you need to think about is if you have a vacuum or not. That's realistically the only deciding factor. Radiant pipes, if you do have an environment, so you have a gas present too, right? But if you have a vacuum in space exposure or in just a plain vacuum, conductive panel is probably going to be what you want to use. But there's also weird situations where you might want to swap them. Uh, I don't think there's a situation where conductive panel outperforms radiant piping because of this reason. This is one tile. But this takes up three tiles. Right? So you wouldn't put radiant pipe conductive radiant pipe. That doesn't really make sense. <laughs> so you would just use all three segments as radiant pipe. So outside of cost, um, I guess there's also something to do with the uh, intake uh, output overlaps. Because it means that you're going to not really be able to do too much with that as well. Because sometimes like a building might have some weird layout and then you can't put the bridge there as a result. It's probably not going to happen too frequently though. Alright, my dupes. Okay, thanks. Gotcha, gotcha, Skycap. I really wouldn't want to plant my rad bolts and try to get this somewhat figured out. Um, the dupes know what they have to build. 
right now we know that these four are together we are going to detect meteor showers and send a green signal when it's coming in so when a meteor shower happens we want to close everything oh it's all five is going to be together oh yeah dude this is a simple knock gate wow just like that it's just a knock gate really yeah it's just a knock gate okay uh I think that's literally all the automation we need. When there's a meteor coming close, when there's no meteor open, <laughs> it works out. All right, so we'll have that in. The dupes just need to get to work. How much longer for this? 0.3. All right, once they get in, the first thing we're doing is doing the pips. My pips need a plant. So you could overcomplicate it with some memory toggles and some buffer filler gates, or you just use a single knot gate. Yeah, we could. Sometimes overcomplicating things make it look really nice. And when I say really nice, no, it's just very complicated. <laughs> D Mayor, Ghost Rider, and who's the last guy? Naps. There we go. Complicated could be fun though. 100%. 100%. D Mayor, Eating Man. I see you over there. Alright. Can we land? Where are they at? Where are my dupes at? 40 seconds. Okay. Alright. How are we back at home? Uh, did we do the water thing over here? We did it. All right, let's open this. That's going to help us out. Got to have a snack. I see you. I only really wonder if power. We have power, though. So I don't think we're going to be too worried because we have infinite uh, hydrogen. All right, so we're going to cool this down. And then this is going to buffer the heat on this side and potentially lower this down instead of having it go up. Aw, oh, snap. We're almost ready. All right, so with that, we're going to need to turn this back on. And we're going to start aqua tuning again. Should be fine. This is on, too. Nice. Complicating the doors. The doors? I think it's fine. As long as the wires don't melt, we'll be okay. Oh, we're here. Nice. Uh, crew? We need to get the new suits for everyone. Alright, so this is Matixo. Esme. No, the lag. And then this is Ravco. Alright, allow them out. All right, everyone has suits here now, right? We could do the liver. Okay. This is not ground. There we go. And then we got to do wart seeds. All right, move the wart seeds out. And then we got to move the pip out. Oh, sh... Does anyone here have wrangling skill? Oh, dude, I didn't check that. Dude. Can they wrangle on the side? No, they can't. The pip's stuck. All right, D-Mayor, you're the plumber and the rancher today. All right, man, that's all you, buddy. Dude, where's my car? When I bother to door the roof of the planet one, I find it's nice to have them roll so I don't have to worry about power. Oh. I see what you're saying. Yeah. In the DLC, that makes more sense. Because the, the rockets will actually wait for you. 
That is the one thing that's kind of nice about that in the DLC. The rockets will wait for the doors to open. D Mayor, let's go, buddy. Nice. And the wart seeds are there. Please plant. Oh, he did it. Let's go. All right, we got one, boys. We need to get a second one. Plumber rancher, not a traditional combo. No, nah, man. You work on the farm. Sometimes, man, when you're working on the farm, they don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. And it really do be like that sometimes. Just hate to see it. All right, we're going to decon this so the items fall down. That's actually why we're doing that. I think we'll leave the ladders here. It's not going to be a big deal. Oh, no power. With no power comes no responsibility. There it is. Y'all get some juice now. Uh, let's put these two in. Let's also do uh, this. Also, let the pip escape before plant. Nah, man, we doored it in. Oh, wait. Oh, the pip's going to break out. No, man. No, don't break it out. Don't break it out. Oh, sh I broke him out. Guys, guys. Oh, no. Come in. Come back. Come back, dude. Hey, he's back. What a legend. Oh, what are you doing? No way. He's going to plant all the way up there, you little bastard. Oh, my God. Oh my god, someone get this guy. I did it to myself. Dig it up, dig it up. Get this guy, man, what's happening? D Mayor, not allowed by schedule. D Mayor, where are you? You're working, boys. What are you doing? Get this guy, man. Oh, man. All right. Get the wart seed. Wait. Where'd you put the wart seed? Wait. D Mayor, how, how are you not going to do this? Wow. What a slacker. You went to go swim, dude? Get out of here. Oh, this guy. All right, wart seed. One, two, three. All right, all of them are here. How did the wart seed up here teleport back down? Dude, plant this. Plant the seed. You know what you need to do, man. Plant the seed. Plant the seed. We still got to build that. I need to decon that part. So I guess I can't do that part yet. Uh, this is in. We're doing the water on the inside. Uh, I guess we could do this. Because that is needed. Alright, we get rid of that. Let's mine this. Uh, this is actually going to be opposite. Alright. Alright. that and then we are going to have to automate this that wasn't a wart he planted there's no other seeds here <laughs> it was a wart he planted because i saw it pop up but there was no other seeds this room is swept of seeds so that the pip could only plant wheeze warts that had to be a uh, a wheeze word. Another thing is I dug it up. Because I have seed sweep. That's what we did right before that. So I don't think it could have been that. But it picked up the mellow mallow. 
No, it, it picked it up from the Weez Wart. I saw it pick it up from the Weez Wart pile, though. Oh, where are you getting the dust caps? Oh, that just fell down, didn't it? Oh, you guys might be right then. I might have had seeds here. Oh, who's this? Take them out, boys. You guys might be right. I think when we decon this, seeds fell down. And that's exactly where that was. Alright, so I need to do this again. And then... Cancel sweep. Yeah, that might have been where we got it then. Dude! Oh, you absolute bastard. He planted this twice. Alright, move this now. What are we doing, man? This guy needs to die. He doesn't want to plant the things I want him to plant, dude. Alright, we also know that needs to be there. Uh, so this is ready. Alright, so this needs to be off. And then we need to attach the power in. Dude, we're gonna kill this pit, man. We're gonna kill this pit before we leave. He doesn't deserve to go home with us. Why are you guys idling next to the radiation? Dude, I'm really mad. No, I know. We could we could have three here, though. Oh! Oh! This is not... Oh, my God. He planted a dust cap here. Ah, oh, this freaking pip. Move this out. Max priority. This pip is such a nuisance. Alright, uh... How come no one's attacking this guy? This, this slug's gotta go, man. All right, so that's in. Oh, they keep dropping food. That's so bad. Come on now. Dude, come on. It's so gross. All right, everyone inside their own freaking... They're idling in the radiation. Absolute ridiculous. Fish tank is a great addition, by the way. Yo, man. Gotta have it, man. Gotta have it. How are you suffocating? That's actually not possible. Alright, that's fine. We're just going to let him suffocate. Alright, man. Can you please work? No, we're firing him, dude. He's staying on this planet. We're not sending him home, dude. This guy has been such a troublemaker. Alright, so it's one, two, three. And then four. So one, two, three. One, two, three, four. And then it's one, two, one, two, three. And then this is not in the range. So technically, this should work. He should be able to plant the last wart seed on this tile. Come on, man. Don't be. You got, you got 10 cycles to do this. You got 10 cycles to do this, my dude. Pretty much like having a can, I know, man. Mamba's better than he is, though. If you like full screen, but want to keep chat, you could use theater mode and press F11. 
Wait, this is F11. The full screen, baby. Oh, on Twitch. I see you, I see you. Come on, you're sitting on the seed. Uh, is this? None of these are plants. No plants inside, no plants here. There is no dig up plant command by doing that. We should be good. Does he just not want to plant it, or is that actually not possible? In theory, it should be possible, but he keeps walking up to it. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's not. So it's here, and then it's... One, two, three, four, five. I guess it is within range. Yeah. And then it's one, two, three, four, five. So if it's five like that, we'd be fine. All right. I think what's going to happen is... He's not going to plant until I open up that tile. And he's going to plant immediately. This one should be fine. In theory, this is the one that should always be okay. Come on now. Where's my seeds? There it is. It is planting on that tile. Uh, there's no way to debate this. Even if I try to put a blueprint there, it's not going to change anything, I don't think. We're just going to have to let him plant it. Alright, so the radiation's going to be different. So, this is a thousand and that's a thousand. I guess that's not too bad. It's four rads off. Alright, we can kill the pip now. <laughs> Take him out, boys. This little guy was not your friend, man. Holy shit. Alright, now the next thing we gotta do is decon both of these. This guy was not cool, dude. Why are you idling in here? Alright, and we need to make sure we could diagonally shoot. That's the one thing I need to make sure. One of these should work. Alright, that's going to be what we need. And then this is in... The temperature of the water is at 25. Can't complain. The Robo Miners... Oh, I didn't build the Robo Miner up top. We needed that. Power should be fine. Oh, I needed this. This doesn't need to be connected, but we'll keep it there. Oh, I melted the wires. What a meme. And then this doesn't need power anymore. Yeah, because then we have enough water already in the loop. Alright, so I need to turn this on. And we will generate... Okay. 111 per cycle. I'm okay with that. generating some power we have the h2 361 that's a lot so this is gonna be act oh this is dormant now we'll see how long that hydrogen lasts let's so i want to see i hate how they just sleep by this all the time dude get out dude I don't know why that's not something the dupes aren't afraid of. That's the one thing that realistically doesn't make sense. How come dupes are not scared of radiation? 
How is that something that's not coded in to be uh, safe from? So this one has no steel, the other one does. Okay. All right, we gotta build this out. I think these guys could leave. We're gonna crew these guys and have these guys go back home. And then we're gonna seal this part up as a result so that we could actually finish that. So we'll do that, they'll launch. Yeah, everything's gonna be okay. I have four Wii Sports to cool my oxygen from my spawn. I saw a dupe list standing in the middle of them, chilling. Not just your dupes, yep. It's always the radiation that's something they ignore for some reason. This is a fake suffocation, we'll fix this. And then we'll go back here. All right, so we need to test this. When this shoots, which is right now, does it go? No, it hits the corner. Okay, that's a big oof. So let's turn this off. Let's turn this one on. This one might work. So I think this is not good. I might have to shoot to here. So I might have to move the reflector down. That's what we need to test out now. If we could shoot diagonally. I'm not sure which one's going to work, but one of them should. If they were scared of rats and shine bugs and warts, it would be nerfed hard. Yo, man, I wouldn't mind that. I would rather have them just ignore warts and shine bugs and run away from them than to have them randomly get major radiation sickness. And then I'm like, why? And they're like, oh, that's because, uh... <laughs> yeah, I was standing right next to the reactor. That's one of those things, man. That, that kind of sucks sometimes when you have them just AFK next to the high amount of rads. Alright, so we do want to decon this and get rid of that. Construction 9. Can we get this done, man? Oh, everyone's just having trouble breathing. Alright, we're going inside for a suit swamp. Oh, don't tell me we're out of suits. Okay, we're not. All right. We have Matikso and Esme. All right. No power. All right, Ravko, that sucks. You're not going to get a new suit then. So no power means... Yeah, we're going to run out of power for the, the food. Okay. That means let's get the cobalt wire here. Just have it built. Let's go. Just make them try avoid idling in places more than 250 rads or something like that. I just wish there was a slider. Like we have it for germs, which is pointless. Like this, this has never helped us. But I want this for staying away from rads. That's effectively all we need. If we could have that, we'd be golden. The problem of running Mealwood on Draco is you end up with 60 of plastic, only 70 reed fiber. Yeah, that's why you gotta have both ranches, right? Realistically, you gotta have both ranches. Seven, eight, nine. All right, let's see the shot. Ooh, that's the shot. So it needs to be on this tile. So this means that I need to set up a reflector right here. Realistically, is on that tile. And then I could shoot diagonally and shoot diagonally. Alright. Let's get that to P9. That means this is actually done. Uh, we'll seal that up. That lead actually doesn't matter. Yo, knight! What in the world? I see you over there. Coming in with the three months. Thank you so much, Mr. Knight. You know, I think you would have learned something by now. Love you, legit. <laughs> hey, man. All I gotta say is, I'm learning. <laughs> I'm not even mad. Alright, we're not gonna do the rad bolts. Actually, um, does this give me... Ah, it is storage. Okay. 
So I think we will actually automate this. Uh, so we need to do... Ah, uh, yeah, I guess we'll just connect it here. So it's here, 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 and then we'll take the cobalt. No, 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 it's output. That's intake. And then input is toggle. Output is storage full. Oh, no, I had it right. Yeah, I had it right. Output is what we want. And then this is intake. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's like that. So that this stops charging when this has full rads. Yeah, yeah, that's smart, that's smart. Hey, night! Have a great night, guys. I'll be elsewhere for the rest of the night. This guy is trying to use his name as many puns as possible. Night, night. Hey, got him, boys. Got him, boys. Night, night, man. We'll see you next time. <laughs> But yo, man, thank you for the 200 bits. Appreciate you. I see you over there, Mr. Knight. Thank you, thank you. And then this is going to be good. All that matters in the end. Temperature plates, 85% done. Nice. Hot steam coming soon. Sauna's looking nice. Good stuff, good stuff. All right, so we could do this now. Because then this is going to be ready. And then this doesn't have to charge. How come this is not asking? Oh, it's because there's no... Oh, wait. I didn't do the rail. <laughs> of all things I didn't do, I didn't do the rail. Right, that's a, that's one of the things I need to do ASAP. Matikso is mechatronics, right? So that's going to be fine. Yeah. Yeah. And then I need to do this. This probably is not going to matter. We'll do that. Duplicate operation. That should be possible. Here, 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 here. And then we'll seal that up and then we'll be done. Oh, I didn't set the direction. Nice. All right, there we go. Bam, bam. And then we know this diagonal works. Let's go. All right, one more piece. Good stuff. And now we could seal this up. I need to watch the dupes to not stand on the inside. That's not going to be smart if they do do that. Oh, and I could go through this way. Oh, nice. Let's do this then. So we'll just go through the, <laughs> the bunker doors right here. Now, the only thing about this is that I haven't tested this. I don't actually know if this is going to work. The automation that we have set up is what I'm saying when I say that. So I'm a red signal this because this is holding up the green signal. So we should be all right. This should allow us to mine everything. And even if we get a weak signal, this is still going to be able to scan. So it's not going to be too bad. I also get a little bit of the overhang that I won't be able to get with this. So that's perfect. And then, yeah, need to make sure. All right, so we got the belt in, right? All right, so this shoot is going to be deconned. And then we're just going to connect the rail. And we're not sweeping anymore. Oh, the only thing that's not there is copper. Okay. So cobalt with the copper, because technically the cobalt side is going to not have as much heat. All right, we're going to run that. And then maybe we could lower temperature to like 16. Yeah, that's probably fine. Actually, it doesn't really matter. We're at a good temp right now. Ah, snap. Almost done, boys. Alright, so this is charging. So all the suits are actually okay. We can do another suit swap. And then... 
items are trying to get onto the rail, it should get to there. So this is green plus green, and it should work every time. No one's getting stuck on the inside. Nice. And then the last setup on these two. And then technically this should be done. All right, so what's my potential load? That's actually the most important thing. 3K. Oh, that's because of this though, right? So my load here is 480. 480, 480. That's about 1500. 240. Two, oh, and then all the doors. Yeah, that does make about sense. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, it's twelve hundred watts. Yeah, we get the twenty-seven like that, and then two forty, one twenty, two forty there. Yeah, that's about thirty-four. Yeah, I could see that. This wouldn't run all the time. Bunker doors are also situational, so I think that would be okay. And we won't launch unless the doors are open. I don't think this will overload. We should be able to balance that out. So we want to get that in, and then we're done. Uh, this is going to be going home. And then... Why is this a red signal? Green signal when storage is full, otherwise red signal. Oh, I needed a knock gate for this. All right, we need that and that. All right. What are my dupes doing? Oh, they're all inside. All right, crew in. Let's do a suit swap. 3%. Uh, let's go back outside. They're going out, so Esme and Ravco. What's this? Oh, it's overloading. Oh, okay. So that's because of this. We'll have to just unplug that for a while. All right, we got new suits at least. Everyone's able to work. Oh, they're just going to go outside to sleep. Oh my god, these guys are the ultimate slackers. Come on, dude, we're almost done. Wake up, foo. No, oh, dude. Come on, man, we were so close. What are you guys doing? All right, we're good. All right, both you guys, we're going to do that. I can't believe we're just going to idle there, dude. Get out of here. Yeah, man. The pips didn't... Dude, the dupes didn't learn the lesson. All right, so now this is charging so that this could work. All right. Come on. And then we won't have gas here anymore. This is going to vacuum at some point as well. Oh, we're ready. All right. So the last thing we got to do is this. And then we're going to crew change. We're going home. All right. Final checks. Is there anything we need to do still? The rail is connected, right? Even on the input. The rail design is simple. Oh, we have this. Oh, man. Uh, I will take that home manually. Dude, that's going to be such a mission. Oh, 
Hopefully we got the strongest dupes known to man. This is like 40 tons of metal. Alright, so aluminum, cobalt, a little bit. Iron move, iron move, cobalt move. Jumbo wire, conveyor rail, insulated, polluted oxygen. Nice. So we have all the metal selected. Since it's a move too, they won't drop it. And then hopefully this works out. Alright, my dupes. Move the items, move the items. Hopefully you guys are mad strong. That's got to be the last thing we got to do. We'll move back some of the metal preemptively, and then everything here is going to shoot back automatically. Oh, this is getting too cold. Wait, why is this getting too cold? Oh, I put this to zero? Dude! What the heck is that? I almost messed up my design for no reason. Dude, that almost bopped me, man. Holy crap. Alright, man. This is good. I was wondering, why is that getting so cold? What is happening? Alright, all is good. All is good. Dude, these guys, man. Who are these guys? Uh, Matikso, Ravco... D Mayor could go back to the nut schedule. Dude, you guys need to be working all day, man. Start moving the metals, man. Start moving the metals. Alright, we're gonna just give them time. Regardless of how long they'll take, they'll actually finish. And it looks like we're charging. Nice. Oh, we have a meteor shower right now. Launch path blocked. Right? Okay. So it's a meteor shower, and that's okay. So let's see if this works. So we close the door as we should. Right? That's normal. That's normal. Oh, shit. Okay, that went straight through. Uh, meteor shower. Didn't they used to have... A duration for this or do I need to actually scan for that all right meter shower is over nope is that the last one nope still happening oh it's a meter shower alert 20 seconds that's where it was thank you dragon thank you thank you all right, let's see. The moment of truth. No shower. It opens. My miners are waiting. There we go. Dig, dig. And shoot. Oh, we got no loot yet, though. There's no metal loaded in. Okay. Okay, it works. It works. Yo, man, we did it. Let's go. Bunker doors have an overheat temp. Oh, uh, no. We don't have to worry about that because I am going to utilize the heat from the meteors as my cooling system. And yes, that actually works the way you think it does. <laughs> so, no, we're actually fine. We don't need to do that. That's actually okay. Right? Because the, the meteors are going to crash, and it's going to be around 300 degrees. And then it's going to absorb everything above 300. And then it's going to dissipate after we dig it out. So it should be okay. I see the idea, though. Yeah, the over here at 1,200 down there. That's slime off gassing. Now, lucky our interplanetary launcher doesn't have an uh, overheat point, so this is going to be fine. Oh, a lot of the metals are down there. At least they could reach it. Alright. They might have gotten the iron done. The six tons of it. Nice. And then they have half of the cobalt done already. That was at 20 tons. Now it's at 11. Dude, that was fast. 
They got it, man. They got it. So this works. Oh, man, this works. Let's go. Dude, I am happy with this. All right. So this is pretty much automated. There's the pips we have to kill. Maybe the slugs, too. But otherwise, I think we're doing amazing. This is automated. That's automated. We got infinite storage. Now we're going to just launch the rocket home and close up these bunker doors permanently. Because we're not going to need them anymore. Unless we want to land, in which case we could flip it on any time. And then we're protected here. Nice. Bunker tiles. We're going to launch as needed. This is ready. We just have no metal to send back yet. Getting some copper. Not bad. Dormant. This is going to erupt in a cycle. This is dormant. This is not bad. Good stuff. So once we actually move out all the metal, we should be able to launch everything immediately. Because this has accumulated like a lot of tons. Whereas I would have like 200 kilograms every eruption period. But since we let it erupt like multiple cycles in a row, it's stacked up to a couple tons. So that's why it's taking so long to run it out and cool right now. We just have more metal than we're actually supposed to have. So since we're able to move the metal out faster, we'll be more prepared for the next eruption. So we're almost at that balancing point. Otherwise, though, yo, man, look at that. No power. Saving on the energies. Good times. Back home to here. Aw, oh, dude, this has chill. Dude, this is nice. Oh, no. Oh, no, my pipe broke. At least it's only a partial. It's not a full break. That's not bad. I think we sent water there that was at, like... Less than 14 degrees. So the single type loop caused it to break, potentially. That's okay, though. Dude, that's not bad. I feel kind of sad that we didn't get the Somnium done today, though. What steam pressure do geysers vents not erupting? For geysers, 5 kg? No, it depends. It depends on the type of geyser that it is. So this one and the ones that look like this. So cool steam, hydrogen, natty gas, uh, the CO2 vent that's not liquid. That's all at 5 kilograms. The uh, water geysers are a 1,000, right? So if you get to this, right? This will actually keep producing till the water is above the geyser. So this is going to be a 1,000, right? Up to here. The metal volcanoes and volcanoes is the same category. So these is 150. So if you have steam pressure at 150 or higher, your volcano will not spawn anything anymore. Starvation. Y'all have food though. What do you mean? Y'all has the foods. I don't know how. Oh, there's no downtime for you guys. All right, man. Let's give you guys some downtime. Y'all go eat inside, man. Something. But yeah. 5kg. 1,000 for Samida. 150 for the Metal Volcanoes. Hope that makes sense, Dragon. Hope that makes sense. This one, I think, is at 1,000 for the Sulfur. Not actually 100% sure, though. Oh, I didn't automate this one. Because we're running off of solar, so it's never going to have a power issue here. Yeah, that's true. Alright, so guys, I think this is going to be a great spot for us to wrap things up for the night. Base is coming together. We got to replace one of the kitchens with a bedroom. We got to get a second bathroom set up. And then we got to get some more bedrooms so everyone's nice. And then we got to do a migration to the Somnium area and get the buff up. And then the next thing I'm going to want to do is get the salt water on this planet. We'll probably just put it back to the same pipeline. It's not going to be a big deal, I don't think. And if anything, I think I'll insulate the pipeline as well. Just so that it could be separate, right? 
So that's probably what we'll do next. And then I also want to go to Freezeo, which is this planet. We'll probably want to save George, and then we'll have to bring Glass over to here. And we're going to try to do a Hydrogen Vent Tamer. I mean, we already have one. We're just going to probably want to tame it. We might also want the cool slush water. Probably not. It's likely just going to be the Hydrogen Vent. So we're going to want that for power. And then we're going to shoot that back home as well. How are you guys starving, dude? The food's inside. Oh, uh-huh. I uh, might need to change my plans a bit. I had like 50 kilograms of steam pressure just to let a cool hot steam do their thing. Guess I actually need to put hot and cool steam in boxes and then pipe it out. Oh! Oh yeah, your cool steam vents are gonna overpressure really fast. That's right. That's right. Dude, that's that's bad. <laughs> Dude, that's that's a feels bad man moment right there. That's a feels bad man moment. You hate to see that kind of thing happen, man. Feels bad. I didn't think about that until you brought it up, man. But yeah, that is true. That is something you going to have to watch out for. You're going to have to watch out for that. Oh, it feels bad, dude, that that's the case. I have a hot, I have a half side before the hot steam goes off, so I won't be able to all get this all in the run. But yeah, I also just thought about that. Yeah, I forgot about that being a thing. Of all things, too, man. That's kind of funny. All right, guys. So let's get that saving. 